and we're live. Welcome to this episode of Left Right Cab, the debate show that isn't really a debate show. Uh, my name is Tanner Hall. I would be Travis Pajoli. I'm Jake Rudder. Uh, and on the show, we uh, discuss all of today's topics. We discuss history, pop culture, philosophy. Uh, I will tend to take the more libertarian or on the right uh, approach to the argument. My friend Travis will take the left. Uh, Jake will also pretty much take the left, but he, with nihilism, backing it. A little nihilism flavor <laughs> to it. We also have our friend Donson hanging out in the corner over here. Hi, Hello. Donson. Hello. Hello, Donson. Welcome. Uh, and during all of this, uh, well, before actually, I should say, before we uh, dive into it, uh, we try out some wine. Just, you know, call a truce amongst our our battle and, and say that we at least unite over our love of wine. Even though we kind of agree on those things still, so. That's, that's true. We don't agree on all the wines, though. No. True. There, there's it's a lot of... Our, our politics true. align more than our wine choices, Agreed. I think. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. Who's, so who, so I bought this wine. I always forget every week. I bought this wine. Who buys and who doesn't. So uh, Jake is the uh, provider of this week's libation, so I this, guess. This week we, we're, it's called Cedar Brook. It's a California wine from 2016. Nah, it's going to be rough. Yep. It's not, it's not Tanner's wine. <laughs> no. Pretty sure of that already. It's from Cedar Brook Winery in Ceres, California. Oh, yeah. So in case you haven't seen any of the episodes, we uh, rate them after... And then we do like a Price is Right little game of guess, guess the price. Yeah. It should be a punishment for whoever gets it like wrong. If, if like that should be the one who has to buy the wine. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I think... I would buy a lot of wine. You I would buy, a lot, you would buy the most wine. A lot. Um, I don't know the market. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to say, so, so I'll, I'll just give you a bit of the description. I won't read the whole thing, but it's essentially that this wine is a toasty spice aroma. blends with cl- clove and black currant. And it, it makes the Cedarbrook Cabaret Sauvignon a perfect accompaniment to mini dishes. Cheers. It's like a, it's kind of like a... I won't actually tell you what dishes those are. No, I'll mini, just sit there and tell mini, you that, mini, yeah, this is mini. good with food. You can drink yeah. this while you're eating. Genius. So black, cur- but black currant and clove is the, is the flavor that comes out. Uh, apparently it's a toasty flavor. Uh, all right. I just, I'm just, I'm just imagining, like, I just feel like it's going to be a brute, a brute flavor. Or brute. A dry. That cotton mouth. All right. Cheers, hey. gentlemen. Slancha. Air cheers. Slancha. So far. Oh, there we go. I, can okay, make, I can make it. Oh, Lord. Oh, I love the nose of it, actually. Oh, it's so dry. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh. Black currant is very prominent in it. It tastes like... This is not what I expected at all. Mmm, interesting. Uh, it tastes like dry. I'm gonna hash this. It tastes, to me, it tastes like dry liquid tobacco. Tobacco. <laughs> so what's funny is that tobacco is a very common flavor profile in cabs yeah. to begin with. But it's not labeled on this one. It's but not. it's not. I think that's kind of like the cloves that you're getting with that. It's cloves. It has to be. It's a yeah. cloves. Okay. Definitely clovey. I get that it's, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I give you. I do that little thing after. Mm. It's. It's not that dry. It's it's. It's, it's no. It's 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 not me. it's not very. Full bodied, I guess. This is more of your uh, front. It's yeah, a it's front very flavor. front loaded, and then you just have that weird sort of texture on your mouth. It's, it's got, it's got, it's, it's got, burn. it's got a decent yeah. amount of complexity in the front and not in the back. I'll give that smooth and no burn. Sometimes it'll burn. It does not burn. No burn. It's not boozy. No boozy. Not boozy. So that that yeah. tips a few extra point or two, man. Yeah. Back and just I actually kind of like it. It's got a butteriness to it. It's got a. It's not what the best one we've had. Our guest not on yes. camera. Yeah, it, Shadow it, Arbiter and the behind the camera. How do you yeah, feel it, about it? It definitely has that, that heavy coat your tongue after the, the sip flavor. Uh, mm-hmm. Definitely heavy on the clothes. Is a, is a flavor, is, how do you feel about the flavor itself? You know, it, it, it's, a, it's a little bit more mild than the cab, I'd say. Like, it, it doesn't necessarily have the, the kind of the more bitterness you get a lot of the time. You, you, the upper palate notes, it's more like the, uh, the corner of your mouth and the tongue. Also, what's your, what's your go-to, though? Like, what's your, like, a wine? Um, what is yours? I, I'm, I'm more for the red blends. That's usually red blends. So, so like a sweeter, Don, a sweeter, Don, lighter red. Just, just not on camera. Just come over here for a second so we can hear you in the mic. Donson, I want you to give us uh, your your rating out of ten, and I want you to give us a price guess. So zero, yeah. yeah. Um, as far as a cab goes, I'd probably say about a seven, and I'm going to go for a twelve dollar wine. Okay. Hmm. Tanner. I look at the label with these because sometimes they're deceiving. 
Yeah. Sometimes the, 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 the more, more filigree, the more sort of fanciness. Yeah, it's the always cheaper the wine. <laughs> trying to bait you. Um, according to this label, it says five cents in Iowa. Well, that's the that's um, <laughs> the value. I think okay. So my rate is that's a five, and it's a just five. Because, it's just because it was going to be like a four, but the no burn. At the end, put it up. It's, so you're saying it's drinkable. It's drinkable. 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 Okay. I would drink it. I'll take drinkable. Yeah. And it's just the dryness and the mm-hmm. and the, that clovey taste to me. So I like the flavor. This is the first one we've had clove. I like the taste. flavor of clove. I made a clove. This is one of the first one that's very sort of like clove tobacco forward. One of the earlier ones we uh, said it was tobacco. It wasn't really tobacco. No, but that one was very strong on like the black currant mm-hmm. and uh, like coffee. Uh, sure. like coffee Price. Taste through it. This one shocked me if this was like an eighteen dollar, eighteen or nineteen dollar wine. I'll say eighteen ninety nine. Okay. Also, I want to clarify that I made a clove beer at one point that Travis had that I quite liked. Yeah, it's. I strange enough would probably be more in alignment with Tanner than with Donson on this. Like this is like a five and a half for me. Mm. Um. It's certainly drinkable, but if that's like the redeeming quality of a wine, then don't don't buy that wine. Sure, uh, you should actually want to appreciate everything that's it's, there. It's not super deep. I'll give it. It's that. it's not. It's it's a pretty shallow uh, sort of profile on it. The bouquet was kind of nice. Like, I think the bouquet is really good. And I think the drinkability is good. I think the problem, but, but there's nothing else to it. My problem that. is that the flavor ends the begin in, in the yeah. in the front. That's my problem with it for sure. So three finger jack. But the it, problem it is, is not three. But Tanner, jack. sometimes I feel like you like things that stop at the front, and you like it to like just like peter off. So that's why I'm kind of surprised how low your how low your rating is. But it has that tongue coating. I think that's yeah, what it does. It is. Yeah, that's yeah. What it is. If it didn't coat my tongue, it might be as five and a half to six. Hmm. But it just kind of lingers. So I'm like, I think I'm, I'm a solid six. I think. Hmm. So price. Um. Oh wait, what was your price? What did you say? I mean, I, I bought it. So. Oh, you bought it. Oh, I thought you were I'm sorry. No, no, I'm going to say $14.99. Okay. Okay. What was your price again? $12. $12 flat? So, 12, 12, 11 There so you go. So it's $13.99. Okay. So Donson wins. Donson wins. Price but, and red rolls. Price and red rolls. You go over. Damn. I do, this is why I'm so bad. I would buy every fucking week. I always I, think this expected to be astronomical. I can, I, that's I can, one of the good parts this, about wine. I can wine. see this wine by its marketing and by its flavor being something that people would buy at that level. Because it's really refreshing. It's almost like a, a no. weird mintiness to it. This, this, this is a wine that if clothing. you don't know wine, this is what you'll bring can to the party. question? What percentage of the wines that we've done also... I, I think, I we might need to specify. I want to specify. Are any, are any over twenty dollars? I don't think. I don't think there's any, right? No. Uh, two have been over twenty dollars. So one was the very first one. The oh, one I brought. Yep, the reserve, which I think was like twenty-two or twenty-four. Okay. Uh, Grapple Bar was also, I think. Grapple like Bar was actually a dope, beer, dope wine, though. Yeah, that I, one I, I think I, was I tw- like right on. Grapple Bar is my second after my Three Fingers. None of these wines we've had before. Drinking it that night, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Do we want to like exclude wines here out in the, from here? Like if if you they, if you tried it, we can't. Yeah, I would actually you just do like things go, like, doing like canvas for all three of us. Yeah, doing the well, blind well, helps because like I drink a lot of wine. Let's let's just do things. three 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 hundred three hundred jack every week. You know, three finger three jacks. Finger jack. Only three finger jacks. But my my question is, what please if I give buy us money. Wine? Three finger jacks. What if I buy a wine three and finger jack and tries, like, sponsorship? What? So that's actually why I always buy wine that I haven't had to also keep on the side. I am the literal definition of playing campus on this. So I, yeah. I substance is good too, though. So like one, one of my favorites. I feel like of, I'm eventually going to snipe one that you've had. Probably. probably. That's okay. Um, and if that happens, I will mention it and be like, here's a wine I haven't had. Has anyone else had this? No? Cool. Let's, <laughs> we'll, we'll just roll with this. Um, or you just exclude yourself. From, from the from price, a, honestly, from the price, because you might have to be familiar with the price, but the grading yeah. is still graded. Yeah, grade. yeah, for yeah, sure. So from the price, because uh, yeah, because honestly, if we were just gonna have wine that like I've either had in the past or uh, that I've very much liked, it's just gonna be back to back weeks of like substance and three finger jacks. jacks and like that. That's it. gravel I, bar. I, I gravel had, bar had, was really good. I, I love gravel bar. I had a request from a friend mm-hmm. who said I told him about the show, and he said like the idea and he's going to watch uh but he wants on saint patrick's day 
each of us have to bring an Irish whiskey, mm. and each of us have to bring a beer. Like, and we what, have, what would be your Irish whiskey? Well, I, don't, I don't know. I'm saying we should do that, and because I, I have to powers. Yeah, powers. Gold I can't. Gold. Gold. Powers gold. Yeah. You, you bringing powers is why I can't bring powers. Yeah. Till more do maybe that's what I probably bring. And then yeah. we we, we, we do each do that and survey the three. Yeah, I thought mean, for St. Patrick's Day, it seems fitting, I guess. But I know it's like JB Casman. We also said oh, we're all like purists, and we're like only cab forever. No, no, no. I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I'm I, pro. I, think, I think putting cab in the title kind of kind of screwed us in that regard, you know. But yeah, but I mean, so long as it do, we don't make a habit of it, I think it's fine. Like if the general theme is still, I mean, here. To be fair, goes. World Wrestling Entertainment has entertainment in it. And it's not entertaining. <laughs> it didn't always. It was a federation before that, <laughs> and then they got sued by pandas. Yes, um, I would. I would love to do like beers and wine, other wines and whiskeys yeah, and that sort of shit. Absolutely, I do some specialty ones like here and there. Again, so long as we don't just like. I just thought it was like thematic. It's St. Patrick's Day. Sure, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. I would love that. Absolutely. I mean, I think especially if we're going to go for a long time with this with this podcast, there's going to be only so many cabs in the world. You know? Yeah, I mean, I very much appreciate that they think that we can uh, pump out content until February. So, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I think that would be would be pretty cool. All uh, right, so yeah, yeah, Cedar Brook, I would not, I would buy it. I, I mean, if I needed a wine to bring, I, I feel like I, just, I would buy this if I like needed a wine to bring to my parents for like uh, an event or something. So oh, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I would buy this by accident and then like <laughs> probably think, not buy it again. It's not bad. I feel like I feel like you're maybe underrating it. I, I think I like I like. I'm not both. even the lowest rating. Uh, I know, but you're the one. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. You're the one who aligns flavor wise with my my, my 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 taste the most. Yeah. I, I just I, I I agree with you that the depth is not there, but mm. but clove as a flavor is something we haven't had, and I like clove as a flavor. That's really what it For is. For sure, I yeah. like clove as a flavor. But I mean, if you're if you're gonna push out a one trick pony, make sure it's done well. Sure. And, like uh, my clove beer. My clove beer. Would you rate it higher than this? I think I would. I mean, I would hope so. You made it. Mm-hmm. Um, so my clove. Yeah, beer, yeah, that, that was far more drinkable. It was. It wasn't a beer though. It was like so. It's my, like a cider. So so you know, uh, Tanner. I made this clove beer. It was like a ginger beer. It was supposed to be a ginger beer, but I put so much clove in it that it just became a clove beer instead. Okay. It was fucking crushable. It was so good. Like 90% alcohol, but you couldn't yeah. taste it. It tasted like a clove soda, essentially. And it was good. It was really good. Yeah, Ashley's brother made a honey, I think it's a mead, honey mead. And it was just like, it was just like well, so, carbonated honey. It was fantastic. So we, we, no. we mainly make meats, but like I do like ciders and sodas and that sort of thing too. And this, this I want to make another ginger soda of some sort. <clears throat> like fermented alcoholic ginger soda that, during uh, the winter, because... What I can do during the winter, Donson, is I, I ferment it, I transfer it to a keg, and then I take the keg and I just put it outside. Because I don't have a keg fridge, right? And that keg just lives outside, and we just go outside and just... But I made so much of it that, that I had like, I brought like a gallon over to Travis's and just gave it to him. Yeah, I had a gallon of this clove soda, which definitely got better the more it matured. It aged. It aged right. Um, because well, out, out the out the top, it was just like, hey, clove. we're gonna just punch you in the face with cloves. And it, so it became, but it was it wasn't it wasn't bitter. It was sweet. No, it was surprisingly sweet, and that's yeah. kind of a weird flavor profile to have both something so like clove, borderline spicy, mm-hmm. mixed with like a sweetness behind it. And mm-hmm. when the cloves sort of mellowed out. You could take some more of the it, ginger. Yeah, the, the, the rest of it came forward. So we put we put like real pomegranate pomegranate in the fermenter, that sort of thing. So you, some of that, those flavors became more prominent as mm-hmm. it aged. I yeah. try these things. I mean, we're, we're, we're just fucking yeah, home, brew, home brewing's pretty dope. It's fun. That's um, why you need to get bees, and I will ferment for you. So before Travis leads into his... Uh, thesis. His thesis of a free speech, uh, I'm going to just state... First and foremost, I, I don't take the far right stance of yeah, you, I 100% believe you should be able to burn a flag, and I believe that falls under free speech. I do actually. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I, I disagree with you. Oh, you think you should not be able to? I think you should be able to burn a flag. I said should. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you should 100% be able to burn a flag. That for me, that is the far right. Flag, doesn't matter what you do, what you purchase with your money, and yeah. what you do on your property. One, I agree. Ir- irrelevant to me. So um, so so was you think that's a, that's the left perspective? I don't know. No, no but it's right. the, the right, right that there are right. certain uh, sacred objects 
to no, I'm saying not, to, like, be, to, to be willing to burn a flag if it's a left thing. No, no, it's a, it's a rule. No, to it's be a, able to burn a flag. Yes. 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 But okay. Okay. people on the right commonly say like, "Oh no, burning a flag or your misuse of the flag is disrespectful but, to the country but, but and not protected." But, you also, but you're, also, you're not a patriot. I'm like, no, no, no. But is, is, it, sure. is it disrespectful or is that? So is it, it, it's the whole Colin Kaepernick thing. It's just like when you knelt at the during the national anthem, it's just like you hate the troops. It's like not about the fucking no, troops. No, it's not the troops. <laughs> Now, here's what's wrong doesn't necessarily mean that I would say... Now, the same, same, thing, the same thing, though. Same thing, though. And this gives me the right to... I mean, granted, I would get punched in the face, but to literally say to a black person the N-word. It's, uh, I should have that freedom to what do you're that. Saying is you have it's the right impolite. To it's disrespectful. It's, but I, the, the freedom to do it... Is to, if somebody, to take the, that freedom away is far more dangerous and down a rabbit hole. I think what Dawson so, is saying... I think, saying I, think saying I think we're actually in a good position to transition into said topic. Sure. Um... And I do want to kind of wax poetic a bit and then just give two quotes to kind of preface all of this. Mm -hmm. The first is that uh, all men have the right to freedom of opinion and expression. And this right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media, regardless of frontiers. Second quote, I think, is a little more common for everyone to, here to be aware of being that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Everyone knows Amen. First Amendment, solid right through. Any ideas where the first quote came from? I'm sorry? Any idea where the first quote came from? Do you want to, do you want to repeat of it? Sure. So it's the uh, all men have the right so to freedom mills. of opinion and expression, this right includes the freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media, regardless of frontiers. Oh, it's some trick question. Some, it's fucking Stalin or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Maybe. It, it's, it's, some, it's somebody that it's, you don't think is... You think it's Karl Marx? <laughs> it's probably fucking Marx. <laughs> Who is it? I don't know. Oh, I, Take any guesses? Donson, any guesses? I'll guess. Let's go with uh, locks. Uh, you guys I'm, take a far more traditional approach. I was going to guess yeah, some sort of like modern media. It is from the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Oh, look at that. Uh, which how, is arguably... How do you feel about the UN? Get the fuck rid of it. So get rid of that, which is argue that that statement. No, the UN. I'm talking about the entity that is the UN. Hmm. That is like the that is libertarian like one on one. You have to sign up for that. You have to check a box. <laughs> and be it's, like fuck the UN. Fuck the UN. Have, hold on. Oh. Can I say something? I they're, like they're, I, they're all non-binding. In my opinion, they're they're all in, in my personal opinion of libertarianism. Trading commerce with all ally with. Hold on, hold on. I feel like in my personal opinion of libertarianism, checking a box is already a problem. <laughs> Am I right? I'm saying it very facetiously and humorously to to yeah. to help these ratings. Uh. I'm just, uh, <laughs> To, to kind of take it to Where's a step those fans? <laughs> the, uh, yeah, fun fact. We have Milo uh, Yiannopoulos signed up for next week. He did, yeah. actually, yeah. So, so tune in, I, first tune of in for next week. First of all, let's talk about that. If he came on as a guest, I would, all, I think I would be absolutely be on board sure. with him. I think it would be a blast. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, regardless of his, his risque nature, yeah, I think he's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I, I take Ben Shapiro in, in a fucking heartbeat. Yeah. Really, I, I think you need to watch your uh, mic levels to make sure that I would take Ben Shapiro in a fucking heart. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, I mean Ben Shapiro shouting on it. So just like uh, mute him. But then it's also oppression. So like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a microaggression. Uh, um, but yeah, to to continue through it, um, a majority of this overall thesis was kind of outlining the difference in beliefs between those two pieces of uh, legislation, which the UN Declaration on Human Rights is a non-binding. Uh, act it's ultimately just guidance whereas the first amendment uh, is part of our legal system but what's interesting about the two is that the un's declaration is far more broad mm -hmm. and it is far more encompassing to all speech public and private that ultimately fuck you you can say what you want and no one no government no private individual can interfere with you voicing your opinion and conveying information 
It's not saying truth or facts or anything on it. And it's not quantifying it by saying that only the public sector can remove it. It's saying everyone, regardless of where the fuck you live, regardless of your um, legal status, your religious preference, anyone can say what they want, which I think is kind of uh, admirable. I don't, but, but I guess from our from the site's perspective is I didn't need a, a, an organization to tell me that I had that. I had that when... Why? What do you mean, why? I didn't need a, a, an overhead bureau to tell me that I had the right to say what I want. Why, though? Like, so why, why do you think that you have the ability to say what you want, regardless of repercussion? So that, that is the quantifying Because I'm a sovereign PCM. individual. So, but you are still beholden to ramifications and repercussions from other private individuals, are you not? Sure, yeah, like I said, mm -hmm. you shout out the N-word, you're going to get punched. Sure, so, so, sure. but the UN is telling you that you shouldn't be punched. You should be able to do and say whatever you want and convey any information, so, so I regardless think, of nation, regardless of social cues, without interference. I, I think the problem is... Sure. So the, U, the UN's position, to me, just seems like... A, re, a re rebuffing of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that you you should be able to do all um, these things. I, I and, almost I almost it's almost stronger than that for me. It's for me it's like the UN's position on it is almost a different definition of what a right means. You know, mm. because when you say right, you mean natural right, and when the mm -hmm. UN says right, they mean a right that should be protected. So I, there, the concept is either a self deterministic right, do I, a do self I defend my own right, yes. or an outlined right. Do I defend my own it's rights? actually the next piece. Or is there an organization that defends my rights, right? Well, I, I would with say that gun, there are no rights. With a gun, well, of course, you think, that. Of course right. you think that. Yeah. <laughs> and a predator drone is very quick to take me away. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that, that really brings the overall question. The free market what, what will find an answer. So I, let, let me continue. So I just want to say, predator, predator, predator drones are right here. You know, we have predator drones in the house. Let, let, are you I, a predator I, or a drone? He's both of them. Now, actually, I have a very witty remark about the free market towards the end of this. Um, but Jake, Jake kind of touched on a good point about uh, rights and sort of the concept of free speech throughout it. Okay. The UN codifies it as this is ingrained to you as a human being. It is your quote unquote inalienable right that we outline in the Constitution, which itself is also a overarching bureau that tells you this through a document, which you've all agreed to. But it ultimately begs the question of whether or not there are any rights or privileges that exist without a social contract or legal or quasi-legal institution and framework. Um, such as... I'll write my notes because I'll lose them. Sure, sure, sure. Um, now, that to state that it is a intrinsic right, the, the self-evident sort of right that exists in the UN's doctrine is that you're, you're free to say whatever the fuck you want, whenever you want, to whomever you want. No one, no government, no person, no one can tell oh, you yes. otherwise. Absolutely. Whereas Congress just tells you, or the uh, Bill of Rights Rejection. tells you that only private individuals, you are still beholden to their response. But you are not beholden to actions by government yeah okay right. however moving forward the supreme court from 1942 on is when they started sort of making exceptions to that uh first amendment right protection uh, people have used the phrase fighting words in the past uh, first came up uh, supreme court ruling in 1942 which how the supreme court at the time case was chaplinsky versus new hampshire by the way uh, the Supreme Court's definition of what fighting words were, and thus words or elements of speech which are not protected under the First Amendment are words that by their very utterance inflict injury or tend to incite an immediate breach of the peace. This is called call to action. And it has been well observed that such utterances are no essential part of any exposition of ideas or are of such slight social value as a step to the truth that any benefit that they may be derived from them is outweighed by the social interest in order and morality. Okay, 
so it's an example. We'll 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 dump that down for everyone if you want. It's it's call, <laughs> it's, it's yelling fire in a movie crowded movie theater when there is no fire. Sure. Bomb on an airplane. Sure, yes. It's a call to action. Sure. So uh, I think more I've, than just that because I, certain I mean, calls I'm just to using action. Examples, yes, yeah. Yes. Certain calls to action are protected. But fighting words are ultimately like there's also I think, I, I'm going to kill you yes, there's an and like eviscerate you and your family. Yeah, there's a there's an example I used in an earlier episode I think where I said, uh, I you know I wouldn't cry if uh, if Nancy Pelosi got hit by a bus, but if I said everyone go out and try and hunt down Nancy Pelosi and murder her, kill her, fucking at her, that's a call. That's a, that's a call to action. Yeah, it's yeah. a call to action. So yeah. Now that said. Even that definition that I cited has I'm changed so over time. Nancy Pelosi, she's my punching bag. I always use her in every example. She won't be there for much longer. Yeah, no, she know. actually just got voted in to be speaker again. Oh, she did. Uh, yeah, one day you, she will die. You sigh, and also so do we. I think England's right. been saying that about the Queen. I re- <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, this is well, well, this, die, this is the beauty Tanner, of black Tanner. magic. Um, term limits. Yeah, no, for the queen, it. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for the, the Senate and yes, the House. Yeah, I, with, without a fucking doubt. I think absolute uh, power corrupts absolutely. We all agree upon that one, I think, yeah. yeah. Term limits all day. I do want to kind of address that earlier uh, sort of wax poetic definition of fighting words into something that came in uh, 1992. So within most of our lifetimes and within the viewers, all five of them, their, so, uh, their their ten year lifespan because they're all ten years old. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, by the way, this is uh, 20, 20, 28 years ago. Yeah, uh, that the Supreme Court found that the First Amendment prevents government from punishing speech and expressive conduct simply because it disproves of the idea expressed, mm-hmm. even if the words are considered to be fighting words. That part Damn of that fighting is words. to be still protected under the First Amendment. Can yeah. I ask a question? Sure. What was the court case that did that? No. Just in terms of the words uttered, mm. the words said, I know they're going to be, and know what the answer you're going to say the answer is, because it's going to be classified under a different umbrella. Uh, but the words uttered uh, by Edward Snowden are his words free speech. He, I, They're going to put it under information, secret information. That, mm. you know, but should he have the freedom to say such things mm. did he sign a contract a legal contract saying he wouldn't how do you feel about yeah. that how so do you he, feel about he that? was in you violation know? of uh it's actually but, does, but does, it, it, it draws does, into attention the question of whether or not you uh misuse and violate your own acceptable use but does one does, does one's responsibility is to like greater morality and like protection of country outweigh it you know so Dun- Dun- you have no rights. <laughs> no, I think you go to the bathroom. Yeah, no. Dun- our audience is going to the bathroom, or one person cool. in the audience. Dun- so, I, I want to uh, say this too. In, in, in when Dodger intro- comes back, he also brought some stuff up to me on the side mm-hmm. that we should talk about in reference to this too. So, sure. so one of the elements of uh, Snowden's statements and leaking classified information. As a globalist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a globalist. As a globalist. <laughs> uh, 100% okay. As a global this, this served the public this interest. Fucking graph. I'm now just seeing this fucking graphic on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, um, I mean, I agree with it, mm-hmm. truly. Uh, I'm, I agree I'm, with I'm, it. On, a, on a base fundamental level. I know you do. Man, mankind has no rights outside of the rights we agree to. We, we associate. Yeah, we, 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 we attribute rights, right? Yeah, rights are attributed it, by It ourselves. is part of the social contract. We have a right to whatever happens <laughs> essentially yeah you have a right to be victim of circumstance yes so um, fuck life liberty should have yes no yep. i got no and yes yeah um no. interesting i say no but 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 those are rights that we defend travis says yes because those rights are not attributed to, they're not they're not they're, they're not, not held in, to they're, anything they're outside not of in, what we so, all they're not to. inalienable there's no such thing as an inalienable yes. right there there are no rights via so divinity. you disagree with the cop now we get philosophical you disagree with the concept of a universal truth. Yes. Yes. Including the concept that yes, even that statement is itself a universal yes. truth. Yes. <laughs> Outside of yes, the paradoxes. Sure. For, yeah. for argument's sake, I understand. Interesting. Yeah. The fact that I mankind has free will a or rabbit freedom. Hole. Like, I mean, like it's, it's, I, I can summarize it. Follow the white so pretty, find... pretty easily, actually. God, it's going to get twisted. Man, man has no. 
Fucking rights. No, so I'm just saying. I'm just There's no such thing it. as an inalienable right. Yeah. I guess I disagree. I figured you would. I, I would, th- I would think big, you would. Is a big brother in the sky telling you that these rights are yeah, who, 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 that can't be changed? No, it doesn't have to be. Who, who permeates those rights for you? Who, who protects them? Who. It doesn't have to be anything. What protects those rights for you? It's just a static. It's okay. just a static. By, by the freak accident of your birth, yeah, you, what, what? You, you gain these rights? Yeah, no, I don't agree with that. What, where, where do you get these, this attribute, attribute of rights? Where does it come from? Who, who bestows them upon what you? Are these rights? Like life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Yeah, life, liberty, who, who, yeah. who, and, and it comes back to the. You have no the right to life. You could die tomorrow. Like argument. you have no right to it. Like there's nothing. There's nothing protecting your right to life besides other people. And That's the fair. social contract we adhere to as part of existing in. The that US, said, do I, would I protect your right to life? Yes, to the yeah, death. I mean, just because I don't think you're entitled Unless to it doesn't. I'm in utero. But, uh, well, you're not a life at that here point. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Here I mean, you're not a life until you gain some degree of sentience. I'm, I'm down with like. Honest. I'm down with like. Oh, you, that's where you determine life. Hold yeah, on. Feel so you, subjective. Hold on. Sure, you, you sneeze and commit genocide. Tanner, um, these, Tanner I'm down. I'm down with like seventh or eighth trimester life. abortions, or like seventy eighth trimester abortions. That's fine too. <laughs> Is that like an eight year old or a nine year old? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm actually not pro choice. I'm pro death. Interesting. Uh, again, I think that anyone. I've heard Travis over the nihilism side. Now we're both nihilists. Another side. No, another but, point that the right tends to make that I'm actually against. I'm against the death penalty. You're against really? the death penalty because you think it violates the individual's right to life. I one agree sec- with that. Though. One second. The fact that even one person was given the death penalty that was innocent or has been innocent sure. throws the system out of the window for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you, so you're, so you're. A, it, it's actually actually Ron Paul is a very but you, but, death penalty. But you're a violation, dis, uh, like like you're you're not like a like a means justify the ends. You're and you're not you're a means justify the ends with the other way around person. I'm a hypocrite because I, then I also bitch about the taxes tax the to prison support system, the private prison, prison system taxing. I mean that that I'm I agree, agree. but so, and I admit it. But how do you, uh, I mean how do you feel about the 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 imprisonment of nonviolent crimes? Against it. Yeah, well, I, I think I think violates the pursuit. I'm, just, I'm saying like every single drug you, offense. You could every greatly single. Re- you I'm could, talking. You could be moving naval boat size. Fucking Oregon, Oregon. No, I'm pro Oregon. 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 It's Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. That just fucking. If I could flip this valid- bar without destroying things, I would. It just validated uh, all drugs. Yeah, no. Okay. The Oregon Trail did. That, Portugal did the same thing. Uh, all prostitutes out. Uh, of jail. Everything. Like, any victimless crime. Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm yes. Sex, sex workers should be legal. Bye, friend. Bye, Donson. Oh, before Donson leaves, I want to cut in his, his point, too. So, Donson, on the side yes, here. Yes, we had uh, questions from the live audience. He was he was right. talking about, um, we're talking about the, 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 the rights of and freedoms of one person. And he brought up the Satanist church, which I think we all kind of, you know, we're actually a good audience for that question, right? Yeah. And one of the fundamental tenets of the Satanist church is the is that the freedoms of others should be respected, including the freedom to offend, to willingly and unjustly encroach upon the freedoms of another is to forgo one's own. Yeah, that's the, if you... I forgot to mention in my whole story of getting chased out of pitchforks at the Libertarian Convention. Did uh, you brought up Satanism? I, I did. I brought, I said, Lucifer, the, the story of Lucifer, he is the original Libertarian. libertarian. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 I agree with he, it. He, he I agree is, with he it. He stood up against Big Brother. I agree with He it. said, no, I will not dress how you tell me. I will not work and sleep when you tell me. I will not... Do- I, I, I mean, will live pra- my life as a sovereign individual, and anyone else, can, you know, praise it, it, the dark Lord. Theoretically, it is, yeah. and they and uh, they didn't like. That. Okay, they didn't like the, that. another one though, strangely enough, I think also is very libertarian in construct. The struggle for one, for justice is an ongoing and necessary pursuit that should should prevail over laws and institutions. Um, I mm, disagree. I disagree. I disagree with that too, but that's that's also pseudo libertarian, I think. And it's I, I would well, say I, that it's it's kind of just someone using terms without actually knowing it. What is justice? It can't be subjective. Yeah, it's sassy. That's what it is. <laughs> it's sad. That's true. Everyone, watch sassy justice. Well, sassy I, I justice. The whole, the whole point behind uh, Satanism is that it, it is subjective, and you, you're supposed to be the adversary. So mm. if you think it's wrong, you're supposed to fight against you're it. You're saying it's contrary in... in yeah, well, yeah. Sat- Satanism at, at its core is evangelical in the sense that you are you are supposed to be mm. actively 
um, opposing. Act, and, actively opposing. Yeah. Satanism is uber libertarian. They have their commandments they about yes. like do not harm children is one of them. Another big one. What's a child? Okay. Another one. <laughs> private property. Yeah. They, and in their tenants, it's like that's huge to them. I'm looking at the seven right? tenants right now. It's something like yeah. They have seven. They have seven of them. I guess they dropped one of the tablets. <laughs> we, <laughs> um, so <laughs> so uh, compassion and empathy towards all creatures in accordance with reason. There's something that yeah, we will destroy. Or something. destroy one them. body is inviolable. This is the most libertarian word. One body is inviolable, subject to one's own will alone. That's mm. that's that's libertarianism in the commandment. Mm. Uh, freedoms of others should be respected, including the freedoms to offend. Blah blah. blah. Belief should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world. One should take care never to distort scientific facts to fit one's beliefs. I agree with that, obviously. People are fallible. If one makes a mistake, one should do one's best to rectify and resolve any harm that may, might be caused. And every tenet is a guiding principle designed to inspire nobility and action not, and not thought. Not a binding act. Exactly. Yeah. The spirit of compassion, wisdom, and justice should always prevail over the written or spoken word. I love that one, actually. That's the best commandment of all of them. That, yeah, it, well, all this shit doesn't actually matter. So Satanism was a troll version of atheism? Yes. Uh, ish, yeah. So, okay, so the, the, the Church of Satan... Satanism is an evangel evangelical atheism. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's, there's actually no real devil in it. No, yeah. No, yeah, no, that's no, it. There's no yeah. devil in the details. <laughs> yeah. Now that said, even if they did truly adopt the Judeo-Christian... Well, just the Christian approach of the devil and Lucifer... He's he's the best angel. <laughs> uh, realizing that he, he, yeah, um, but realizing that man requires free will. They're not just born to be subservient, mm -hmm. and said, you know what? Let them have their choice. Their and the fact that what blows my mind is so many Christians will tell you that, like, oh no, God created free will, mm -hmm. but it's all deterministic because God works in mysterious ways. So it's self-defeating of the concept of free will. Your choices are predetermined by an omniscient, omnipotent being. So that gift that you quote unquote received from God, You're it, right. it's a lark. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Which is why I like the position that like no free will and the the gift of knowledge. Free will free will exists. Rights do not. I think that's essentially what my perspective on it is. Yeah, for sure. You're not entitled. Rights people view as entitlements. Yeah. And I think the, the core crux of it is that there, you're not entitled to anything. No. Be it life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness either. Life for most beings in existence is suffering and struggle. Okay, so here's my question. Including right? us okay, for the most part. Including us for the most part. Okay, so you, that's pretty, you said most beings, like sure. struggle. But before I move on from Satanism, I just want to say this one thing. It's interesting that... Everyone should portrait. Everyone should support their local church of Satan. <laughs> yes, we all we, do because well, they're basically basically like uh, Unitarianism essentially, right? Satanism. Yeah, there don't be a douche. Satanism is Unitarianism, where it's like every belief system works as long as you're not a fucking asshole. Yeah. But also, Satanism as a concept kind of originates in our area too. It's from Salem, Mass. That's where Satanism's main, like the home church of Satanism, is in Salem, Mass. I think that may just be a kitschy piece about like the witch demon. I feel like it was created as a legal battle against it was First but, Amendment rights. But, but it's home in Lake Missouri. But its home church is from is in Salem. Mass. Oh, the, the, the Satanic Temple specifically. Yes, been various. I, I, I've been there. You prefer Ask Travis too. where he's going tomorrow. Oh, we're going to Salem. Oh, dope. Well, apparently, <laughs> crossing just outside. outside. Just outside, I believe. Yeah. Anyway, it's fine. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye studio awesome. audience. Thank you. Yeah, hold, hold for applause. Excellent. We should always have one friend be a one studio audience person. I like it. I mean, it actually worked out pretty well. Uh, so here's my question. You're saying it, it's, it's struggling, and I don't disagree with that. Actually, that's a Jordan Peterson poet point that you know life is struggling. Life yep. is hell. Uh, and, and you, you can agree with that. It's, it's, it's the existential with... approach that you know the quote unquote hell is other people. Uh, you it agree is just existence. But you can agree with that, and also not agree with Jordan Peterson at large, though. Uh, no. I mean, oh, okay. I I probably agree with many of his core beliefs. I just don't like him, so therefore I am like. That's a shame. I think um, you should really watch his Joe Rogan interviews. Watch. I've watched a lot. I know one. I I have some libertarian friends besides you. I've watched a lot. There's more. There's more than one. In Connecticut, <laughs> There's more than one friend. Um, 
I thought a lot about Jordan Peterson. I think he's he's, he's very eloquent. He's, he speaks very well. He's got a lot of points that make sense. But I think that there's something core about his core about his his belief system that I don't agree with, and that's the best way to put it. But what is it? Um, it's sort of like his where he applies inherent, where, like where he thinks inherent the the inherence of human um, effort should go, right? So I think he believes that we should be focusing on um, the sort of like like remove ourselves from the collective, remove ourselves from the sort of like the, the larger thought, the larger like. I'll give you the exact quote if you'd like. Please. Uh, give me five seconds to run it through my head real quick. Okay. Uh, it's it's a lot. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, it's it's basically fix the holes in your own life mm. and before going out and trying to change the world. I, and I don't and because that. you're not you're, well, you're not going to be prepared to to handle. You know, mm-hmm. you could, it's to go out into the world and take on these pseudo moralistic causes. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people that probably do it because their own lives are in shambles. Yes, and they take on these pseudo moralistic causes to look good to friends and peers. And on t- one for one, and well, two because God. because they it's pulling out my setup of being to, to, because they, they, they can't they can't they can't, they can't they can't they can't take in they can't rein in their own chaotic life that's happening internally. Okay. So they try to fix one, the external. They try to fix the external. Yeah. He says you need to fix the internal well, before I, you even attempt so, it. So, because you're just going to bring that chaos into the external. The thing is, I also don't think of the individual as that important. I think he does. I think that's probably where I... No, really, he does. I, he, he writes whole books about it. Like, that's his no, thing. That, that's, he's I'm, saying, I'm he's saying, saying, saying that the individual is not important. Not Jordan Peterson is saying that. I didn't say I didn't, I, So I'm not a Buddhist. I don't think the individual is unimportant. Uh, don't you go on this oneness, oneism bullshit? But, no, I'm saying I'm not. Well, exactly, I'm not. I'm not a Buddhist. I don't think the individual is unimportant. I just think it's less important than than we all believe it because we're all because we're all individuals. We want to believe that we're important. And I mean, everyone wants to believe that they're special, but we're not really that special. Um, that kind of summarized quote from Jordan Peterson is interesting because on one hand I agree with the setup that uh, many people who live flawed lives try to fix the external to seek validation from their friends, family, peers, what have you, Uh, which really just doubles down on my belief that most people are that way. Uh, What? They're no true. They're not actually altruistic. Oh yeah, yeah. We've had they're, they're they're trying to serve these things. Have, to we, go have, we, have, we, have we not hit an altruism mat yet? Uh, I don't think fully, but like we can get to it on another week. Another week, yeah. Um, but next week, Ben Shapiro we, and altruism. I actually, I, love, I, I would I, love I, to I, see that. Be, that. To discuss a philosophical thing, I probably would have to. Um, you don't want Ben Shapiro to talk to you about why uh, should, the faith do, is so strong. You talk about Judeo Christian. How that they are, and how you cannot are, live an ethical and moral life without them. Right. right. Whereas I subscribe to the concept but, of but is Jordan, that the but founders is, were far more atheists. Than, uh, yeah, than they were. They were they're deists, atheists. but like yeah. Who? But yeah. Well, so so, so I, you're I, telling me they believed in the ECU I, I, and were secretly members of the. It's funny you mention this. Order. I just went through um, of this training at work. This sort of inclusive, in, like inclusivity training, like yeah, DNI. D- and I think it's mostly bullshit. Even, I'm, I'm, I'm a progressive, but I think it's mostly bullshit. Uh, I think that those kind of policies don't really happen from the ground up, really. Like, everyone already kind of agrees that everyone should be included or whatever. Um, one of the questions was, I mean, I'm a white atheist male, and one of the questions was, do you believe that the Founding Fathers represented your your rel- religious beliefs? And I was like, actually, yes. kind of, yeah, yeah. Probably? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More so than probably the people who say yes to this, absolutely. Yeah, like, Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson's Bible, he... Ripped out all of the supernatural bullshit stories. Yeah, but, but most people who read that question think, "Oh, Christian." It's a Christian yeah, they were country. waspy motherfuckers. John Adams. Uh, yeah, no. We are, no, we founded on Christian Christianity. Yeah, no, we really, uh, we really so founded, we really founded on sort of the rep- reputation. Yet it somehow Benjamin was. Franklin, uh, lighthouses have more uses than churches. Yes, exactly. No, no. I mean, you're talking. Yet, you're, so this, you're preaching to the choir on this yeah, one. That's what I'm saying. But, but, but so it's just so my point. So, so like the, it's been co-opted. So the previous question was, "What was your religion?" I said atheist. The next question was, "Do you believe that?" Founding fathers were believed in religion. I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> then, then the system blew up. The <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I guess sort of. I don't know if we want to hop back onto. Sorry, yes, go back. We, we uh, put on. Sorry, we certain, certain topic for it. 
but when we were talking about you know various positions of free speech, free speech protections, and so forth, mm -hmm. uh, in the U.S., while they have quantified it to say that you know Congress or any local government due to I think was the Fourteenth Amendment. That federal laws will be about, about the state and so forth. What's the 14th Amendment? Uh, inclusive of like states' rights, I think, or something. Another point. No, the 10th Amendment. Is. Isn't 14th? I, mean, I think you're wrong. 14th may be expanding the vote. Um, it has something to do with, I think, states' rights adopting federal policies and guidelines and in no way being more open. No state shall make or enforce yeah. any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States. Cool. So it was the 14th. It's the, it's the inverse. It's that states can't override this federal. That's what I'm saying, is that yeah. they, they can't override federal mm -hmm. guidance for it, but they can choose when and where to go. And, okay, and so yeah. Doesn't the weed laws do that? Uh, yeah, so, so the weed, weed laws, laws you can decriminalize things on the state base, but if a federal you, attorney, so if a district still, attorney still comes forward and says, yeah. we will go and press these charges You can still go to federal prison. You can still go to federal prison. Yeah, yeah. So like, so state prisons The are, governor of that state will almost unilaterally just pardon you. Like there's there's no reason to do that. But yeah, but, but and district attorneys will likely so not unless they're Kamala Harris. But this all sounds like a waste of money. Practically, yes. Practically, it won't happen. But legally, a fe the federal uh, judicial but system judicial system <laughs> could take you and say, even though the states won't prosecute, you, I will prosecute. You. Yeah, that's the difference. However, it doesn't really the, happen in the, practice. The state in turn could then immediately commute it. Commute right it or commute it or yeah, like or, or, or right. pardon you. They could pardon you. Yeah. And the the, the only level that be, goes beyond that is either a Supreme Court uh, challenge to that or the president can. It's actually an appellate challenge appellate. first, and then it'll it'll go further up. I, I think the appellate challenge does not super super supersede a governor pardon, does it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Districts. Yeah, maybe you're right. um, yeah, they're multi-state. So, right. like, the easiest right. way to look at it is that there are, there is a hierarchy of various. No, I know that. I know that, but government. I feel like I just thought, thought that, the, that that went beyond the appellate for that. So, commonly, when cases get brought to maybe, the appellate maybe, court, maybe, they maybe are precedent. state orders. So, maybe by precedent, it goes above that. So, like, if a governor, I mean, it's it's very easy. You would try to go and move it to, to the over, highest tier to override a governor pardon. I think you like. I think the maybe the. Tradition is to go above that, if not. Yeah, because you don't want to avoid it, because you know it'll just get contested up to it. Sure. So, right. like, My in the sure. interest of efficiency, yes, you would try to do it. Straight the Supreme yeah. Court or a president. Yeah. yeah. Um, now that said, uh, one of the pieces I wanted to bring up. How many was, times has, it, has, has the governor pardon been overrided, though? I don't. Not many. I, I, I have many. no idea what the number. We 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 really do as a, even even though you might not believe it, I think we as a country do really believe in states' rights to govern themselves, right? So I think in most cases he like this, doesn't believe it. it's kind of like the core tenet of libertarianism. No, no, he believes in that. No, no, he believes in that in practice. I say I think it, I think he believes in that in theology. I think in practice we also represent that a lot of times that maybe you might not think that. I, I yes, but then like there, so there was like last year when there was rabble, rabble, rabble about the was it Georgia, Cause in Georgia, Alabama. I can't remember who did the the did the uh, some abortion laws. And like, Texas, like, Texas, and Louisiana were the two that uh, pushed it. What wasn't those? So but the, they, they passed the. What if basically yeah. the, the abortion stuff couldn't happen in their state, and it was just like this. And, you know, it's like, but you, it has to go both ways. Like, you have to be okay with the. I'm fine. Uh, you, have, you have to be okay with the weed legalization, but you also have to be okay if the state, if the people of that state, vote this way. Like, sure. it, it might not be. And, and absolutely, a the, the main thing, issue but, with that. But, but, but does that, that it was like Massachusetts so, voted down right choice voting. But like, but but, but, but does it? Does, does that also? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Correct. with the, with with 53 the, to 40. With the abortion thing, though, it does that also next, violate next the individual, level. though, right? So, like, if you pair it back down to the mo the highest level of rights <laughs> that you can give, doesn't saying that the state has the right to tell you that you can't get an abortion also violate your personal rights? Yeah, but unless you're going to go and administer an abortion yourself, you then still have to rely on another individual who so, arguably is already under a Hippocratic oath to not do harm. But harm on. being defined by whatever the board practice states. Okay, but say, say someone else gives you an abortion, right? Should they be like prosecuted? Against well, as a libertarian, I'm against licensing altogether. So I know that. That's why. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I, I want people. I'm saying. Who have gotten I'm saying. I'm, to be so I'm saying. I'm saying that the the, the criminalization of abortion I is a hard. Joke about licensing later on. I think That's criminalization is terrible. A, criminalization is a hard position to argue. Unless you're a non-libertarian Republican, <laughs> that's the only what? the 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 criminalization of abortion only really works in like 
like, evangelicals. All right. Evangelicals and like state forward, or oh, sorry, federal forward Republicans, right? Name <laughs> name me a federal forward Republican. It's fucking Mike Pence. What do you mean? He's not a federal. I mean, he's an evangelical, which I think is the driving piece. He's also it. a federal forward Republican because he, yep. he, he believes that, that the federal should tell you that you can't have an abortion. Because it coincides with his evangelical beliefs. Sure. Not, he doesn't that believe the that the federal government should tell you. And they are, and they identify that what the act they view the act to be murder. So okay. he evangelicals view the act to be murder, and the state will tell you that murder is wrong, except when they do it. Yeah, the death penalty is not illegal. Oh, I understand. Yeah. I, I, so I understand like, the hypocrisy of it all. Okay, I'm just saying right. you can't both ways. But I know you do. I'm saying what I'm trying to say is that I don't ble- I don't I don't see the political venue out for for criminalizing abortion if if. if you're either libertarian or a liberal. I think there's only one version of it that works, and that's the, like the sort of like state-driven I, centrist or state-driven Republican. But even well, uh, federal, I mean federal-driven Republican. All right, I, a, abortion is. We will do a whole show on that. And we'll yeah. tonight. We, I mean, we all agree on abortion, though. So, like, I, why I, even you want you want abortion? No, I, I I've moved off of pro-choice and been pro-life for the past few years. Now. Have you? Yeah, I'm no. sorry, I didn't know that. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, no, no, no. no. For, for, that, I, that, that point I knew. Actually. In my original, in my first book I wrote, I wrote from a pro-choice stance, and um, it was a libertarian pro-choice stance. And then, through countless debates with other like-minded people, like yourselves and um, and the other side, and just listening to all the arguments and just and just kind of really thinking it through and, and arguing my own point to myself. I, 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 As a, it, it, had, it, it actually it actually started colliding with my, my right to self term my, my, my atheism a bit yeah. in terms of I feel atheists are atheists a lot of us are or because we hate the atrocities that religion has done to mankind yeah, in sure. terms of life loss mm-hmm. and then and a lot of atheists call themselves uh, humanitarians hum, humanists. They, they use that term almost synonymously. They're not Hitch, synonymous. Uh, well, well, but I, 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 Hitchens did. But Hitchens I would call myself. I would call myself a humanism, a humanist, and, and an egalitarian. Okay, so it, it to me, it started to collide and grind a little bit. It's like, oh, how can you be? Where, so where, where, speak? And then you have to argue the taking to me of we can see. This is where I want to talk about the universal truth. To me, it's a universal truth that the taking of a life that isn't your own is morally wrong. I take that as an absolute truth. I don't even know if they're listening anymore. I take yes, that. I, I take that. As taking of a life is that, morally that, wrong. Taking a life truth. that is not your own, yeah. that is not aggressed upon you. I agree with that. that. Is, it is, sure. is innocent. It is, is morally wrong. So I just, now I don't. I, now I, I reach a We point just don't where, agree where, where life starts. Which we, which I feel is the the left's job. The left is the party of science, yeah. and the left needs to. To declare this, it's too malleable. It's subjective. It changes from person to person. At birth. It should yeah. be. Some people say at birth. Some say at conception. Some say one trimester in is fine. Some say that it, it's sure, just a couple cell. It's a but cell. but at any point in time, at be birth, it zygotic at or not. Birth. You're saying third trimester. You mean one second before birth, you should be able to kill the baby. Sure. So I mean, I, that's gross. To so me. That's, that's, I, that's, I, that's, I have that's a. the word gross. To me. What, what I want. I, I, this I, is a free I, speech I, show. I'm sorry, guys. Here's the thing. Before we circle back on it, please. He's asking me. He's, he asked me directly a question. Let me respond. Yeah. I would say, would I would I prefer that to be the case? No, absolutely not. But if we're gonna make a fucking hard and fast rule, yes. Should yeah. I be charged with double homicide if I kill a pregnant woman? No, uh, depending on the but stage. Not, but I, de- depending on the stage of I, her I pregnancy. Mean, yes, I don't agree with that. Oh, okay, <laughs> but, but but so no. I would say just depending on the stage. Of homicide her pregnancy. is bad enough. I don't. Why why is double homicide need to happen? Like because one is multiple life sentences versus but, one but, it, but has it, the but, opportunity sure, whatever. Of but, but the the argument from the right is that the woman goes to a clinic and, and gets rid of the baby just the same. Whether I do it five minutes later when she walks back into her house and kill it, and now I'm charged with the murder of that baby, but she isn't because she went and did it. I, so, no, right. I, I said no to both of you. said no. I'm, 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 I'm going I'm to tell you outright for it. I said no. Um, with, I, I understand. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to counter you. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe we'll get to the, the free speech section. I'm sorry. We should just separate we, this we, now. We've got, a, we've got a break coming up, and then we can revisit it. Because uh, it does tie into I, a current event. Okay, I just think it's, um, I think it's like, uh, such an in-depth, and it's going to get heated because we definitely differ. Abortion in this position... Uh, personally, 
I would say so long as a fetus has a self-contained immune system. And I say that in the fact because it is truly establishing itself from being a separate being. It can, from, live, out, it can live outside of the body. Is what well, with medical saying. attention, it can. Mm -hmm. um, so it is arguably earlier than some but, standards. I mean, a baby can't really live outside the body for a long time. Exactly. So you um, determine life to be... No, no, I don't. Because otherwise a baby is a parasite. A baby can't live outside it's the... It's definitely not a parasite. Live, no, live, no, no, live, all, a baby all things child, that... No, no, child, no, 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 no Definition no. for it is a parasite no, or a parasitic, right here, right a parasitic relationship is one organism subsisting off of another for the sole benefit of itself and not contributing to the benefit of the host. I will disprove this right now. Anyways, so <laughs> what I was trying to say... <laughs> this is a free, no, we can do the free speech. We yep. can do this. No, get, hold on, hold on. But one last item about this. Correct. If, if, if we describe uh, what, what, what being... Able the practice to... of living as a parasite in or on another organism is the actual definition. There is no biologist or medical doctor live who will say, how is that parasite doing in your stomach? We're no, because that's, sure, a, sure, that's sure, fucking fine. context. But, but, no, uh, it's not, but it's not a parasite. They no, I'm sorry. Parasite. From the Encyclopedia Britannica, parasitism, the relationship between two, two species of plants or animals in which one benefits at the expense of the other, sometimes without killing the host organism. Direct quote Not from the Encyclopedia parasite. Britannica. So, Tanner, skipping that. Yep, go ahead. I'm gonna what go I would ahead. say is that you, I can, you, can take these, more. you can take these arguments yeah, pretty far. Um, How long does it take a baby to be able to subsist itself? It's pretty far. Like three years three after years. being born. If you were just like let out into the world, more than that probably. No, nah, it's about three years. You see feral child syndrome occurring around no, 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 no. But, but how do they get to that feral child system? They have to no, like if they are just birthed and then left, wow, that's, I never thought yeah, I would say that in a, an that. example. Probably uh, that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So. I think, I think your mortality rate doesn't drop to like five or six. Maybe. Um, maybe nine. Now, now that point like, aside. My point, my point being is that, yes. So like that argument doesn't really hold a lot of water for me because, of course, a child is not immediately able to sustain itself when, you, when it's born. But birth is like a very specific event that you can point to my genuine like on, like on an 2.75 trimester like, like uh, yeah that, like, it hairs. can it can vary between whoever is born but my point behind at what point does life is it okay to terminate but also and when it is not. life matters and i don't either so yeah but there's a difference between what I truly believe, because <laughs> arguably I believe that anyone could come into my home, kill me, and that's the end of it. And, you're like, and I, I, I won't, and you're like, slight, fair enough. I won't <laughs> slight them anymore because I'm dead and it doesn't matter. Fair enough. Exactly. Um, it's, it's a, however, it's a fair enough mentality. However, I think when it comes to what benefits society on mass, utilitarianism. So I have Merriam-Webster's dictionary definition of parasite. Okay. okay. An organism that lives on or an organism of, an organism that lives on or in an organism of another species known as the host from the body of which it obtains so nutrients. So another species is what you're talking so about. So right away, you can say that the scientifically the unborn child is not a different species from the mother. So it's there is no I'm not sure this is an, a, a parasite is an outside species. So you're a species. So species. so you're saying that because that's it one, exists. That's one I have, so I have multiple reasons for it. For it. Okay. I write about so. Okay. So at this point, we're really just arguing over what source of authority is better suited. Encyclopedia Britannica, Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Sure, but or or, or and any, I, again, I don't think any medical doctor. No, no, no would because there is a difference a between a parasite and existing in a parasitic relationship. Okay, so mm. I'm gonna. Can I? I'll continue. Um, Another key trait scientists use to describe a parasite is that it is hostile, forces its way in from the outside to feed on or off the host. That's, also that's factually true. inaccurate. The unborn child is not this. No. It is the mother's natural offspring. I'm sorry, that's in the definition of it? It is, it, it is the mother's natural... No, scientists call uh, yeah. the child the mother's natural offspring. It is not a parasite. A parasite and a parasitic relationship. Mm -hmm. And there's three types. Are, are three not... Types don't seem to be entirely the same piece. Secondly, so Travis is because there, there are symbiotic relationships. Travis Would focused, you say that so, no, childbirth is a symbiotic relationship? Travis is focused oh, for on symbiosis. Yes. Travis, is, fo Travis is, focusing, is focusing on the inequity. Yes. That you are birthing something. That a, Yeah, you're birthing another homo sapien sapien 
if we were going to break it down to a okay so not parasite that's good no, we're, we're going to use the Queen's words for it. <laughs> uh, parasitic and not parasite. So but the, but the relationship of itself. Sure. Um, it's not symbiotic, right? No, no symbiosis not. is just the relationship itself. Between First the is but, but mutualism. But, yeah. Mutu- right? both, both organisms. This benefit. is where the organisms are mutually beneficial to one another. Section, second is common solism. This is where one party benefits, but the other's not injured or harmed in any way. Commonly, it's the sure. remora. No, it's so, like so it's not, the shark that yeah, sure. the fish that lives in both, under in the both shark. Both these cases, these dynamics, dynamics apply to. And the third, pregnancy. which is a term uh, the left used when describing the relationship of an unborn baby, said, no, no, no. is parasitism Wh- when one organism benefits from the injury of another. Yeah, nutrient deficiency is arguably injury. I, 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 I there's also. Scientific so, benefits. So, of, of those scientific three, which one of those falls into pregnancy? Which one? Which pregnant. one benefits more? Which Which one of those more accurately describes pregnancy? Uh, not Ooh. yours, because I would say parasites use uh, right here. Parasites used to describe a particular animal behavior, not the description of a natural process reproduction within a given species. And that is in the exact definition from. Uh, it was Merriam-Webster. No, but or, or is it a summary about, about it? it from... It's a summary. Okay. And looking that, that, up, that, looking is, up that is an opinion stuff. based Not on this it. opinion. Well, if, scientific if we... opinion of the, the terms of what you're, you were playing in the world of science. And we I'm have to use the terms about the... of scientists to Indeed. find these parasitic, parasitic sure. terms. Sure. It, it is the... You're arguing what is or is not a parasite versus what is but or is not a parasitic. Parasite, but you called it a parasite, relation. so you have. Fine. I I I, 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 I will amend my he's statement. He's seated he ground. Hold on. That, he's seated ground. Relationship. But you see this ground like. Parasitic. But you see this ground like ten minutes ago, though. Yeah. the The argument itself is that the relationship itself is parasitic. I mean, it's just not more so than. Is, is, it's not, not is it not one organism benefiting? From the other over another via you you could even include it as, as injury or at the expense of another i mean right. some some dude crashing on your couch for fucking like six parasite. months <laughs> is not a parasite because it's the same species but it is a parasitic relationship sure where you th- those terms are being they're completely wildly different they are being conflated to being equal and they are in fact not Anyways. Correct. So your what my argument is we'll that be right back. you're conflating it that the baby to be a parasite when it is in fact not. Right. I'm, we're at you're, four. You're, you're right. Ba- what, what I am to uh, the baby is what you're saying. The baby is to the guy on the couch. This is this has gotten this has gotten. Actually, really, that's a closer example for it. This, no. got, <laughs> this has gotten <laughs> needed, this has gotten needed. Let's uh the the relationship. We're at, more of a so well, more, I know you I don't. Like, you both do. We're, it's, yeah. we're, we're at past an hour. Yeah. I want to take a break T- here. Tune in for the second half. When we speech, actually touch actual base on free speech. speech. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, if you want to go and brush up on something, this week there were Senate hearings that went forward on. Uh, the role of technology in censoring information yeah. and tech companies sure. about mm-hmm. providing information and labeling it or mislabeling it as you see fit. So I mean, fuck big tech, I guess, is what really the answer is. But uh, We'll tune, see you guys tune, back tune in about like five, five minutes. minutes and uh, don't, don't go anywhere. Don't touch that fucking dial. you want to dial. read my chapter on abortion tell me why I'm wrong? We're, we're going yeah, off. It, it All right, we're, we're turning off now. Okay, bye. Don't touch that <laughs> dial. Okay, bye. Bye.
Get out the stainless steel. Can't the stainless steel for right. a long period of time. Um, like it's it's just it's, 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 it's not, not, not like in a lot of things. You know, I'm gonna say neither can veg neither can vegetables and neither can babies and neither can yeah sure. But even under all circumstances, in the infinite possibilities of circumstances, babies can in fact be brought to life. Um, it's not 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 likely. Not likely, but the existence is still there. It does a haploidal cell does, does it happen? Yes. A haploidal cell cannot. Okay. So that's why I don't have a problem with someone crushing an unfertilized chicken. You're saying it's zero. I don't. Yeah. So when you look at that point of at conception, if you're going to take the position that all life is safe. People talk about biological imperatives. Maybe I don't it's to fuck and reproduce. Maybe I don't think value that. Something partner to produce offspring that you love and care for and raise, and it, there's there's a fulfillment there that you would get that you would not maybe get just from like five girls. I, I, but, mean, but, I know I understand. But, but as, as someone who has lived most of their life in that five girl system, every yeah, I get you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but do you want to be there? I do, I do. And that's one, and then that's one, and that's one thing that has definitely shifted me to be slightly more pro-life. I don't think that would work. But, but that I have an issue with because, like, it, does, it did for me slightly. So my eldest brother, uh, very much was on the just.
I am. Welcome back. Part two of our show, Left Right Cab. Uh, Cedar Brook was the wine. Free Slanter. speech was the topic, even though we literally didn't talk about free speech. It just went into this crazy abortion tangent. That's my fault. I'm sorry. I just had questions. I wanted like to, I wanted a definition of like, what did you mean by this? When is it, is it circumstantial? Does this mean this? What are, and then got into what are rights and we came to right to life. That was how it kind of like spiraled out of control. I think that is how it kind of went uh, was the, in, what are inherent rights and yeah, we then moved so right, right, definitely, right to life. I definitely want Travis to continue his, his, his statement or topic on. So you're going to transition to like, like, like modern, like, or sorry, not modern, but, uh, current topics. I am. Um, I, I, have, I put time into my piece. I have two questions, though. B- before we go in? Before we go in. Sure. We can just briefly. I, I, this one's not a question. More so of long a, as they're topic. at the topic at hand. So you mentioned the UN at the beginning of your thing. I would like to. It doesn't have to be discussed tonight. It can, it can be discussed. Not well. I'm assuming next week is off because it's Thanksgiving. But not uh, celebrated in October. Okay. I was in parts of the UN goes. Is do you guys have any information on if the UN is investigating the atrocities in China with the Muslim concentration camps and literally? I, like I always I always organs. butcher it. The Uyghur. Uyghur. Yeah. Or, we'll I, it's, we're it's, saying it wrong. Yeah, I know we definitely you, are. You know what we're saying. Uh, yeah, the the uh, they're, they're, minority. It's like brainwashing. It's torture. It's oh, they it's, are it's, all it's, concentration it's, camps. It's it's. I, I, there's been reports of harvesting of organs. It's rough, and it's like the brainwashing of like abandon your religion state is your guy it's really fucking weird and so i want to just uh, hopefully we can have a show that's highlighting this because i it's shocking how it's not covered in the media like shot like the, even the hong kong protests got coverage these are not yeah, yeah and, and then the hong Ch- kong China protests got silence yeah they did so my they're se- still my, happening they still are my counter question to you we we're talking sure. about rights and free speech and sentience and uh, you know that's why i was like you know all that stuff uh, and you were saying it's a, uh, the right to free speech is a, a social mm-hmm. construct. I don't know if that's the right term. Uh, a social contract. Co- social contract. Yeah. Uh, and my question is, and it's not, I don't have this opinion. I just want to kind of throw it out here and see what you guys think. Is it social or is it science? Is free speech obtained once a level of sentience is obtained? Should this be the standard? My question here is, we trained Coco to communicate with us. Mm-hmm. It, it, it now... She's dead. Yeah, has, I understand, but like, if we were to train a gorilla to be able to communicate and speak, pour one out it, for Coco. Does, does, does and pour one for Harambe too? Why not? <laughs> Smash the bottle. <laughs> this whole twenty. Every, kill, kill, kill small, 20. kill small children. Dicks out right now. Let's go. All free dicks on stream. I think everything. Uh, wow. All this went down. I think Harambe is the mark. So the Harambe crux. is when we moved into the darkest timeline. Yes. Yeah. Harambe really it was the crux. Yeah. yeah. But 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 is free speech not, not obtained? Is not free enough speech obtained out. once a level of sentience is obtained? Obtained basically should should Coco or any other species that for some reason maybe let's say evolve, in a hypothetical world evolve to be able to speak or communicate how we do? We know dogs <laughs> communicate. We know whales communicate. But I'm talking like in a way that is uh, yes at the same bandwidth. Or, yes, uh, some, the bandwidth. Of, they, but, but we view it as a lower species, like a gorilla. To sure. us, yeah. Know, I, I, of, well, so. I think we start with because the bandwidth, right? Because like we communicate at a certain rate. That is higher rate than we would communicate with a gorilla or a, mm-hmm. a dolphin or whatever. And is that a problem of our of the translation, or is there it might a be some aliens that say, hey, "You guys verbalize your words; you'll just think it and hear it." Like you're, it they but, might but be you're not wrong. Us. That's that. I think mean, I think that's the theory. Like the the sort of like like that where the 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 Earth is just a full of people who don't quite like are not able to interpret communication on a level that, that the aliens do, right? So mm-hmm. they're there, they exist, they've been communicating with us on like a very like basic level, and we're like... Man, I think it was you on our... Uh... They tried with crop circles. You guys dismissed it. You gave it a zero out of so ten. I, I actually was going to go with I'm more, the same, I'm, same I'm reference more, I'm, to the spooky I'm, I'm episode. I'm more like solar flares or some shit. Like, there's other oh, I thought it was the... Uh, we send out messages on... Radio waves. On, uh, on, the, wa- on, the, on the wave of heal- uh, yeah. hydrogen. Yeah. yeah. Most common atom in yes. the fucking universe, so like it makes uh-huh. sense. But a higher species would send out ways on oh, every gosh. single. Yeah. It's our guess. I mean, our guess, obviously. We don't. Yeah, really it's fucking it's, know. it's the we're doing this because we think this is it the most it accessible. Sense. Yeah. Um, but that said, and, and kind of addressing your question, that's it's also the golden go disc. Go or a gorilla, or if they were able to get to a point where it could even, let's say, like in a weird sci-fi-ish way, be able to. I mean, I'm going to go with a very out. sci-fi answer myself. If, so. if a gorilla could be able, if we could get it to change vocals to umph out of words, to yeah. be able to phrase sentences in a very tribal, mm-hmm. you know, guttural sort of thing. Yeah. You know, 
Does that is that free speech? Is it protected? I mean, I was, I was on a. It's dip. a. It's a sign. Um, you said no. Yep. Uh, it's not human. Uh, um, no, it's because I don't think free speech. No one is entitled to free speech. I'm also. Is, is I'm, my point. I'm a vegetarian. Be, be them so. organisms or not, or be them humans, be them primates of higher brain function, be them uh, cephalopods. Because arguably octopi and squid are fucking the smartest. Um, besides the us. smartest fucking things. I think aside, aside, aside from us, yeah. aside from us. I mean, so so we, my, my, my point behind the, it the though validity, is that my the validity sure. of the I, I, I will say this: the validity of the human intelligence. Machine learning. Okay. And um, sure. So we had, I don't think it was Google. I think it was one of the early instances of uh, machine Google. learning. Google Brain is so like, it's Google it's not Google Brain, Brain that I'm going to reference that. It is like that is like certainly the pinnacle so far. Yeah, but with this, say now for that. Um, you can open a bottle of Three Finger Jack. No, I have to drive still. Um, I'm already, my face is already red, man. Fuck. I was thinking, this, is, this wine definitely hit me. So, with that sort of, uh, if something other than humans started communicating with humans, right? So, one of the instances of machine learning and one of the precursor setups to establishing a neural network in AI. So, that is ultimately, for those who may or may not know it, uh, you feed a computer algorithm enough images and make connections within that image so that it could in turn either mimic thoughts and sort of uh, understanding or at least develop a rudimentary or fundamental sort of piece to it. So if you're worried about Skynet, it's kind of the precursor to that. And uh, they created this AI and they brought it onto social media. I think it was Twitter specifically. And they like, you will go through every single tweet that is here, and then you're ultimately going to start creating your own. And within the first few minutes of it, experiencing that, the tweets took a rapid dive into the realm of, uh, I don't even want to say alt, right? They were like, I, it came out saying, I want to put humans in a people zoo. Oh, they put this in a body of a person, right? And yep, they talk, and, 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 talk, and they talk back to them. Yeah, right. and they put in an actual robotic uh, yep. creature, and it, it had eyes, and it and a spot, and, and it was... Yeah, yeah, I remember watching yep. this video. It was really creepy. Is that free speech? Mm. Is it free speech? It coming from a, 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 from a robot, robot that we programmed... So the thing, the thing with neural networks and machine learning itself is we program to a certain point. Maybe it's 2 million connections. Maybe it's 2 billion connections. We stop. So here's the, now, okay, so here's your question. Is data human? Uh, I've actually this seen is, that. This is, the argument. this is the argument. And Picard, Picard, Picard argue. argues in support of him being human. And right, that, right, that, 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 well, that, 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 Riker is, yeah, he, he Jonathan Frakes, he, he we don't deserve you. He doesn't want to be in the episode, but he, yeah. he, take, he has to take the role. And throughout it, that actually brings a very interesting point to at what point do we determine sentience? And in the instance of data, I mean, Picard, spoiler alert, from a show that Gene Roddenberry <laughs> did the 30 years ago, maybe 25 years ago, um, data is deemed to be human enough and then like something else happens causing them to shift out of it right well, to make them vote that he is human yeah yeah he, his relationship with tasha yar yeah. that he he feels an attachment to her um legal eagle does a very good uh video breaking down that by the way um, okay. yeah i'm gonna go and spread some legal eagle yeah some youtube cred have you seen Picard, by the way I haven't yet. Picard's okay. really good. I'm, I'm not. So, I'm not that big of a Star Trek fan. I, uh, I, uh, don't get me okay. wrong. I, I love TNG. Then you I like even Picard. like DS9. So I'm yeah, be, probably. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. This is. A, I'm going to speak on behalf of both me and Ashley because we are both agree on this. Discovery is better than Picard. Ah, Discovery really? is fantastic. Ah, Discovery is our. We have harsh, debated. Ashley and I harsh debated. Opinion. Harsh opinion. Harsh Ashley and I literally contemplated and sat and like had to sit in silence to think about. Mm. Is Discovery really arguably better than Next Generation? And <laughs> uh, the answer to that hopefully is no. I'm gonna it's, end, I'm a, I'm a it's end real the stream. fucking close, dude. It's Turn, really close. Close the stream right now. No, I know you're gonna. Have you watched all three seasons? I, I mean, all, like the third season's just coming out now. But, Discovery? You know, no, I've only seen the first season. I don't know how you weren't hooked. It was fantastic. No, it wasn't that good. I mean, Voyager was worse. 
I would say it's, be, it's better. Yeah. It's better than DS Nine too. I think. Better than Deep Space Nine, Voyager, uh, and Enterprise. Uh, yes, absolutely. Enterprise is not very good. That's why yeah, we yeah, had to yeah, come to the threshold now. Of next gen, it's like. There's many people who think DS9 is the best too. They're wrong. There's some real Cisco's real fucking solid Enterprise on. episodes, like yeah. real rough. Enterprise, yes. There's some no, no, not right. I'm sorry. D- next generation. DS9. Sorry, next generation. Sure, sure. There's some real cheesy hokey ones. Um, that, that's why people. That's, Q is what is the saving grace. Well, that's why people. That's why people say DS9 is the best one, and I don't. Because Cisco I, didn't tolerate that shit. Have you watched Lower Decks? Yes, I have. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, I, like, I like Lower Decks. How do you feel about TOS? Oh, the original series. Yeah. Um, yeah. Monster. I, I'm not pro any Monster of the Week bullshit. Have you so. watched it though? Uh, like First probably 15, 20 episodes. Of the week, which is also why I'm not super big on that. I think, I think, I think Minus so. the fact that Pacey is there from Dawson's Creek. And um, I don't remember who his dad is. To give you a little said the guy from Lord of the Rings. That you're getting, you're, the oh, we're, we're getting yes, off Star Trek. Yes, we're getting yes, off Star yes. Trek. For, yeah, but that, for, that, for Star that, Trek. I would say TOS is underrated, and I would say DS. I would say DS Nine is overrated. That's my opinion. I no, I, I think DS Nine is rated. I don't think DS Nine is overrated. I think TNG is rated. Can we then say Discovery is underrated because it's fantastic? It's mm-hmm. so good. you need to watch the second season. I, I you need to seen watch all of it. It's so good. Regardless, so so, I'll, so we, we so Tanner for you. I will go out. I will oh, watch the second season of of, of Discovery, and you I will. Want our CBS All Access pass. We have it. If you want to borrow it, you can go up and watch it for free. Yes, please. Okay. Send that to me in text, please. Yes, we'll get to you. All right. Anyways, I, I, I just want to confirm: is, is this Voyager? Uh, Voyager sucks. Yeah, okay. Voyager right. garbage. So, you, like, Jane. There's, I, very, I few remember, people, there's like, very few people who think Voyager's good, and they're all wrong. So I had to remember for a second. I was Why like, is there shit. A right. tattoo in our screen. Oh, I don't know. Um, as, as much as I was trying to remember, I'm, I'm considering getting that tattoo. There was so we had um, Kirk, data, Kirk data, Picard. And neural link fits free so we had Kirk Picard, uh, Cisco, Janeway, and that's when I, I stopped was caring. When I came back, it was Star Trek. So I walked so away. I, I stopped back, caring. Giorgio, Lorca. Uh, I, I didn't watch it. Pike. So who, Pike was a precursor. Pike said, oh, "Yeah, Pike discovery. said discovery. Yeah, okay. discovery. Yeah, Pike." Uh, I mean, Saru. fucking um, DS9, uh, um, Cisco. Cisco. Yeah. Cisco is go. Discovery changes captains. Okay, the best part of DS9 is Cisco, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I just made this analogy. I hope I actually watch this and appreciate this. Discovery. Is yeah, actually, he didn't is tolerate actually, the is, is actually really a Star Trek fan? She's the biggest. Give that fucking whiskey bitch a fucking <laughs> prop, props to me. Because it's not... It's a, it's She's a ri- getting uh, the Star Trek coming in here tattoo on her Oh, I, I thought about that a lot. Um, so The next time, just... So, I, I was going to make the joke that uh, in, in Discovery, they go sorry. through... So you get data or more? Four captains. They go Fuck through four more. captains in three seasons. And they go through captains like... So the dark, Pike, like Pike the dark, is like, up. I'm dead again. No, like the sorry. Dark Arts teachers are going through in Harry Potter. Like every, and just, there's so many, it's so, but it's great. It's fantastic. It's like Doctor, so, almost like Doctor. But like Remus Lupin, did they really care? They they trusted him to be a member of the Order of the Phoenix, but they're like, no, we don't trust you with kids. Remus Lupin is King Einhart in Dragonheart. Uh, That's true. The, the redheaded kid that shares half a heart with Sean Connery, the late Sean Connery. Yes, but rest in peace. I am the last one. I fucking love that movie. It's so good. Uh, okay, we're talking about free speech, and we're now... We're, oh, I'm so bad at this yeah. show. All right. So... Data, neural links, that's where we're at. I'm on it, I'm on it. Don't worry. Yeah, so the, the, the free speech element to it, outside of what is, you know, if the organism matters, anything else that you're pushing, what actually, according to our legal system, matters is not so much what you say, but where you say it, and through what means you say it. Um, so the Supreme Court has determined that there are various forums for communication, right? You kill me, or oh. stupid gif. Um, <laughs> and through that, you know, everyone talks and says like, oh, there are parks where you can just go and have conversations with anyone in New York City. Um, those are more of your traditional public forums. That's your, some asshole in an a board, an A-frame saying, the end is nigh, like walking around. He's on sidewalks, not interacting with businesses. It is a traditional public forum. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, the Supreme Court also identified designated public forums. That is your, uh, it's 
not quite a public place, but it has been dedicated to be a public place. The Republican National Convention, the Democratic National Convention, always have three speech zones set up far away from everything. Those are those places. So... There, there are two other West, setups for it. Westboro Baptist Church protesting outside of military funerals and like away but, from... But they are not in the cemetery. Right. And that's where they sort of draw the line. They are in those limited forums. Those are the setups where... You know, this typically isn't where you would be, but you can, in fact, be there. Um, and you're allowed to say what you want, ultimately, without repercussion from uh, government intervention, and no one will legislate otherwise to tell you that. And then we move into your sort of non-public private uh, forums where it's private property, the owner can tell you what you can and can't say there, and you can go kick, go kick bricks because it's private property, and that's how the Supreme Court has ultimately ruled it. And that rule is that you put you lump YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, these things into that. So that actually brings into the sort of current topic of this week. Um, so Lizard Man on trial. Lizard Man and uh, yeah. Sasquatch Man, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. How, I don't know how we want to quantify Jack Dorsey. Um, so Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of and founder of Facebook. And Jack Dorsey, who is the CEO of Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, testified in front of the Senate, I think, Judiciary Committee. It was in front of uh, everyone's favorite second turtle, Lindsey Graham. <laughs> not and the first turtle. Not, not the first turtle. Not Mitch McConnell. <laughs> but the second, second favorite turtle. T turtle in chief. <laughs> and they were A talking turtle, about... Yeah, vice turtle. So the main questions which were provided to them were... It had to do with the election results and how they were flagging. Uh, Jack, Jack Dorsey was kind of in the hot seat about how they were flagging misinformation on Twitter. And many Republicans on the committee were like, what grounds are you saying this? Of course, the election hasn't been decided yet. This isn't misleading, or nor is this misinformation because the election isn't decided until the actual electors cast their ballot for it. And while technically correct, it was arguably a misrepresentation of the judicial system in place, or the, the electoral system in place. Now, the opposite side of things, in the same hearing, you had Republicans saying, social media companies, you are doing too much, you are censoring the quote unquote public forum and you were censoring people's posts, in the same token, Democrats on the panel were saying that you weren't doing enough. Like, you should have just taken down everything that was wrong or factually misleading. Mm. So I give, actually, a lot of credit to uh, all of the lizard people in the audience um, because Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey kind of walked that fine line, and it's been a line they've been walking for almost 14, 15 mm -hmm. years of social media and the content that they provide they are public company or they are private company they are publicly traded but they are in fact still privately uh, managed they are not under state oversight so therefore they can do whatever the fuck they want that is ultimately jack dorsey's position of i'm the ceo of this company go kick bricks go to, go to something else if you don't want us to do this uh which Incidentally, with the advent of companies such as Parler. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, there's, uh, there's new ones coming Parler is interesting. So, so uh, super, uh, no, I, I, wild, wild west in terms of I, what I can't say. wait for all the kitty porn to get posted on Parler. <laughs> I, I, I guess. <laughs> it's it's going to happen. That is, the people oftentimes forget. Uh, Parler, and, Parler is so, so new that it doesn't have the same level of like... They don't um, even have the same degree of cybersecurity as everything else that's relevant. No, no, cybersecurity. I mean, I mean, even like uh, like the like the auditing right of, of yep. content posted. Yep. So like, if you report something in Parler, it's going to take way longer to to like. Uh, I can tell it you, it, it won't be filtered out. It, it, that that is arguably their mantra for it. But to continue through it, uh, that's, so that's that's, that's hen, problematic. Hen, hence, hence the kitty porn reference. That's kitty that, porn. That is yeah. what uh, 4chan varies be. Set up for it. That is what it was initially. Set Various up, bees. Which everyone. Um, B tards. B would be I, I one never, forum I of dealt Fortune. With 4chan. Never. I don't even think I've been. So on, I don't think uh, I've actually ever been on Fortune. So oftentimes people 
that was sort of the free speech, do what you want, you are shielded by anonymity. If you wish it, you can have an account if you want. It is truly everyone doing what they want. And there was very little, if any, oversight. Um, I, I don't actually remember, was it Root? Who was the... Uh... Moot. Moot, thank you. Uh, the one admin of, of 4chan. The, he's the one who... He who established it. Fiscally benefited the most from 4chan. Yes. And Moot was always he, he, out there saying this he's is... He's the creator, essentially, and it was like a, supposed to be a Wild West thing, but... No, it, it, is, it is truly... You can say what you but, want, you can do but, what you but want. But it became like post. a haven of like child porn and all that kind of shit. Like. Yeah. And I can't... Parlor will go that route, because if I trust anything, it's people are terrible. Um, but if you, don't, if you don't regulate it, it'll be child porn. That's <laughs> what he's trying to say. On an extreme position, sure. Um, but but to take it to a step further, um, going back to the hearings, whereas Jack Dorsey was very much the, um, this is a private company, you agree to our terms and services, mm -hmm. you will adhere to them, and we reserve the right to do whatever the fuck we want. Right. Uh, say uh, McDonald's, no shirt, no shoes, no, no service. service. Exactly. You follow these rules, you can get, you service. get service. If you don't, get the fuck out. Can you wear a Mark, like a fucking swastika shirt? And... So that brings it into Facebook. So Mark Zuckerberg has always taken the stance that Facebook exists in what is known as the public forum of platforms, which is why they would not take down posts for the for almost fourteen years. They would not flag anything. They would not shift uh, information one way or another. What they would do uh, falls into that setup of sort of shadow banning. And what they would do is they would move into uh, directing advertisements to one way or another. So it'd be like, you could advertise on all of these groups or you could pay you know, no money and go here, or you could pay us more money and go to these targeted groups and so forth. So they always occupied that they existed in more of a sort of sidewalk view when it came to the protections of free speech. Uh, that position has not actually held up for the longest time. That Well, if you state that you wish to exist in an area of the public forum, then that requires public oversight. And so in the same token, whenever antitrust suits were thrown against Facebook, um, his response was, no, 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 we're a private company. We're not dabbling into this. So he was arguably very hypocritical for it. Um, and that said, to kind of go with the first question, what do you guys think? Like, social media platforms to begin with, do they fall more into the Jack Dorsey? These are private companies offering a private service. But do they, or asking? do they serve a public forum mm -hmm. function do, do they, where people get their news from this yeah, do they leave their privacy, like their privacy function at the door when they decide, when they decide to like service majority of people, right? I mean, like not not every social network does, but the the the, 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 the goal is right to service everybody. You want every person to be on your social network, right? I mean that that is the general scope of that is your social goal. networks is like, to get as many people using that's it. That's why as this possible. fucking podcast I'm talking about the rabbit hole is talking about essentially this is like. Every podcast has an algorithm, or every sorry, every social network has an algorithm that's designed to try to bring as many people in as possible and have them stay. Staying is the, the big part, I think. Staying is more important than t numbers, I think. Right. Because like, you, like if someone pops in and out of your social network, who gives a shit? Like they're there for ten seconds, can't advertise to those people. But if you if they're there for like three hours, you're like, okay, this person. How many ads can I barrage yeah, them with? And they also care. They care about this, this, and this. I'll give them this, these things, and try to like broaden their experience of that of that content. And hopefully, they click on one of those things, right? So, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I think that social networks in general are kind of public forums. They're, they're public. They have they're public entities in a way. So in a in an alternate universe where this stream is just screaming white power, white power, white power. Ours does, is. Does, Ours is. Does, is Twitch, yeah, for sure. Does Twitch or YouTube have a right to take our speech down? Yes, I think so. So then it's not... Because it's so a then they're a private business that allows to regulate speech, so it's not so much public forum. Um, 
yes, they have the right to, and no, it's not because they're not a public forum. That's how I feel about it. So are they or are they not a public forum? Yes. They are. They are a public forum. And they have the right to take it down because it's not protected speech. So that that, that, that doesn't work. It is. Okay. So according to our... Uh, hence my very long here? diatribe. All, 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 all speech is protected? Is that, is that the, in, is... Within the public forum, including fighting words, are protected on public areas for it. I agree. From, from what perspective? All the Supreme is, Court's position. All speech okay, is permissible. Sure. Is I, that, there is no line. Which is the UN's position. I think... All speech is permissible. There is no so, line. So, so you're, what you're saying then is that Google should forfeit YouTube as a private entity and give it to the, the state then? Oh, I don't care. I'm just talking general. Who, who, I'm, I'm saying theoretically, not in terms so, of... Yeah, no, 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 no. no, 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 no I, I asked this question... No, hold up. No, I asked this question then, specifically. Then you're forfeiting who private prote- rights. Who protects it. the state... Who protects the right of speech then? Who does? Me with my gun. You know that's that's right. you know who that protects the right for you to own a gun. I mean, I mean, I mean, broad, more broad than that. You know that who who protects the right to free speech? That is well. There's a lot of libertarians who say that is the only role of the government. Okay, so Google should forfeit its ownership of its public forum because it's too public to a, to a, to a to a governing body that can actually protect free speech. Should Google hmm. give up its? I'm just making sure I hear. I want to process and think it through. Should, YouTube. Huh? You, YouTube is the example. So it's should YouTube should, should YouTube it, exists as part of the public forum where so, anyone could convey their thoughts. Are they beliefs. are they on the fence? Of, are they coming to the, the table at this hearing? Whatever. Just yeah. So, so so, so Aj, Ajit Pai and Google collectively, or Google's council, refused to go, as but, did uh, Apple's. Yeah. But say, say, uh, so it was only Zuckerberg. They were invited and asked to come, and they will likely come and speak. About I guess I do. I mean, as a shop owner, you, if, can you come in my shop? Is my shop a public forum? You come in and say what you want when you want, or can I tell you to get, get the fuck out? Well, how do you feel about that? Yeah. Get the fuck out. If, I, if you are... So it is, not a, so it is so not a public forum. So Google is not, allow... not a public forum, and they can determine free speech as they want. Yes, that is my initial stance, yes. That's why I was arguing at the beginning. Yes, I I agree with that. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, when it I morally, that, theoretically, I believe all speech is permissible. But, but theoretic, not. theoretics don't matter. Uh, no, no, just for debate purposes. You're, you're, no, no, but, sure, no, hold sure. on. Not for debate purposes, because your theoretics clash with your own theoretics. Because your your theoretics of how, 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 how do you balance the right of your, the private your, owner? Your I, believe, I believe a government body should come down and force a private company to allow your the, to do that. But should they come? Is that, you don't think they should. The go, a government should not come into a business and tell this is a, the bake the cake argument. I, sure. I, I, I do not believe the government should come in and but force a private but business. To what I'm trying to say is your, your theoretics your theoretics of um, the the right to everyone to speak their own mind. Mm-hmm. Clashes with your right, your your theoretics of uh, a, an individual's company to, to to say no because it involves ing- aggressing upon the company. Um, but so, but so what, what, that what if that company is the only platform? No. But it's not. Um, sure. So so your position is that that's everyone not who is really outraged the case anymore. No, 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 no. So exactly with your position that everyone who is outraged with. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, the YouTube, the market Google will Places. Provide an we'll go to it. The market sure, will sure. always provide a better answer. I'm glad you brought up the free Facebook market. Facebook was the answer to MySpace. So, 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 so what you're trying, what, you, what you're advocating for then, Tanner, is the isolation of ideologies. Then I think that's bad. I, I do as well. You can, yes. So that mentality will just establish an uh, echo chamber yeah. between both political uh, ideologies. That's really bad. Or between any extreme ideologies, it's really bad for both for both sides. Echo chambers, I think, will exist in, in under either under either umbrella. But on one platform, like either it's this is the setup. There's either an infinite amount of platforms, or there is one platform to serve as social. Social media should exist in one of the two camps. I guess I'd rather if have it, a thousand different flavors of soda over than just one Coca Cola. First and foremost, it's diet. Coke. But it will never. <laughs> everyone gets. You diet say that. Coke. You say that, but there will never be a thousand flavors, Tanner. That's the problem. The, the problem is that things float upwards. 
Because that is the goal of the free market, no? Is it's, that the best ideas will float uh, float to the top, and that is where everyone will sort of go to. So everyone who agrees, everyone will pursue this. So everyone who agrees with Parler has pursued to YouTube but, because it is the best way. Un, until a new thing comes forward, and then usurps YouTube. So, you, so absolutely, I don't. I don't. It dis- happened with MySpace into Facebook, Facebook into Twitter, Twitter into Instagram. It's going to just sure. Snapchat, so, so, whatever, social media you know, will just, do that, but there is very commonly. One to maybe two, two to three competitors, right? And commonly, there is what's known as cross use between platforms. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't have. So, so I don't, I don't know, have Facebook. There's, yeah, there's Anheuser Busch and one or two other uh, big guys, but there's infinite micro brews, and there's the they keep fucking absolutely. buying them though, and they keep buying them. This is why antitrust is a thing. But to, to move it back when it comes to speech and sort of that... But you have the, the such market, a variety of... Dis- and and, and, and you were right that the market to, will to always provide. And you know that what? the market will you always generate little, you, you having one beer over the other doesn't really change your opinion of something. You having one flavor of opinion, like like one flavor of information over another is... Yeah, there's a difference between I like, I like Cab Sub... And I like Cab Sob because there's only one wine to drink and it's the greatest but of all was wines. It, was it Patreon like a, a, an answer at one point to YouTube? Because no. YouTube, I thought no. YouTube was censoring. Like, I no, think, Patreon censors. Maybe it's not Patreon. I don't think yeah, pa- Patreon's else. actually very big on censoring. But they, they have Patreon, never, they have never entertained the belief that they involved themselves in the public. There's a company that I can't remember the name of them. That a lot Patreon's of competitor is actually OnlyFans. Fun <laughs> fun. <laughs> that's true, true enough. No, 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 it, no it, that's it really is. true. That's really true. Yeah. That's really it's true. not Patreon, and I'm misspeaking. There's a, there's, sure. When a lot of conservatives start getting censored on YouTube, they jumped to a different platform. I probably like the Mayo or something else. I can't remember what it was. Um, so that said, you're right. It's real interesting that you can't remember what it was. Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I have a bottle of wine. It's eleven thirty night. Sure, sure, but sure. I mean, it, it, but do you think? Do you, do you think in five years people will remember Parlor? Probably not. It it, it right now. If, has, I, if I were it, a bike, it, it, people when Facebook came out and you had to have a college email yes. together, and they said Facebook's fucking. But you know what? Was, but my you know what? will never die. Facebook Facebook didn't come out saying it was one political email. No, it no. Only college but, students. But, but that position it. was that yes. The target audience was different, so what they actually you're did to evolve it, it had to be is that you. I mean, how, I, I, how I got, got on. I got onto Facebook with, with the college email, so I know what you're talking about. So how it how Facebook launched was that it wasn't directly competing with the same people. No, it was MySpace's be... main uh, revenue for it, or the main how they're still a business <laughs> owned by hey, well, it, Time Warner. Or, no, specifically, it was no, Time Warner. No, an individual. On trivia, Bezos. Uh, no, just Timberlake. Oh, did he? Timberlake bought. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Music. Tim, music, music, music yeah. So music is the main. Music thing, is the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music's major or MySpace's major competitor now is not Facebook. It's fucking no, like it's Bandcamp. Like yeah. it's or um, SoundCloud. <laughs> is the other. Well, but Bandcamp like, is SoundCloud are also competitors too. Exactly. Like, so whatever. they occupied that space. So when it comes down to it, because I I, I want to circle back to when you're talking about with the the advent of Parler. Which I'm very glad. Well, I think that it's um, a fucking dead thing. I don't think enough people give a shit enough. I don't think it's going to matter to it. Years, but sure. I, I do still appreciate that they're at least I'm trying. I'm curious to check it out. I mean, do, like do, do, do you care about title anymore? Like, you know, title? Title. Like, exactly. Oh, yeah. T- title was Kanye's thing, right? It was, no, Jay-Z's. But Jay-Z's, yeah. sorry. Well, now, yeah. now, oh. now I'm a racist. Um, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, no, you don't. No one does. Because yeah. it was the big. it was a big platform promoted by... Biggest artist of the time, and no one gives a shit because they already subscribed to something else. You know, so people people give more of a shit about Google Music than they do about Title. That's that's how how much you need to know about it. So to can circle back to it, the the advent of Parler, I feel, is kind of a response to cancel culture, right? Like it's sure people are tired of these plat- big platforms. But YouTube, them. YouTube is very pro, like that sort of mentality though too it's weird you, cancel culture or like free speech free speech yeah like anti cancel yeah. culture as weird as that thing is to say you know like I so. don't know YouTube itself has done some canceling of definitely some from whom whom I know they've are they, they take I know you don't like these guys but like they've taken down Crowder Alex videos. Jones no Crowder videos they've taken down yeah uh, that's fine to me I, I don't think it is because um, there, there's, 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 there's a line there's a line 
There's no, there's no Milo videos come down. There's no. But what's the line? Like, what's the thing? What's the line that Crowder over? Should Lies. Have? The private <laughs> sector should determine that. Yeah. When it also, comes to also, their but also, content. yes, lies. Lies are my are my perspective. So misinformation right, well, is actually Crowder's something. Of people to come down the show. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, fucking punch Stephen Crowder in the fucking face. So. Bring him on the show, goddamn. You say that, and then he, he, he's, he's, he's fucking. Already, he, well, he says, I would rather assault. That is the. Yeah. That's what the people don't like. The left. I'd rather punch you than talk with you. No, I, but like, I would talk to fucking Ben Shapiro or fucking Jordan Peterson. Well, or Neil, ben, ben Shapiro Peter. just constantly cancels, so it's. That's yeah. fine with me. All those people are fine There's with me. There's no one on the left that want to punch. I would rather. I, that's I'd not like, true. I'd like to dialogue. No, I'm not. A, I don't. You want to die? You want to dialogue with fucking. I don't know. Who, who would be a leftist extremist, Jake? That doesn't exist. Do you want to punch, <laughs> you want to punch Karl Marx? He's not alive anymore. No, but provided he was. Punch him? No. Yep, right in the face. No. Who, who, like this is the people's not, face. Who, who, who's, your, who's, your, who's your left extremist that you could, you could name off the top of your head? It'd be AOC and Bernie, I'm assuming. The, yeah. they, those, are, those are elected officials, though. Not, so, so remove that. Remove elected officials. Below oh, that. Give me a moment. Give, I might have to come back to this. Okay. Some, well, to, to continue, continue back, I, I, a major piece that we're kind of like dancing around both with Parler, people moving to Tidal, or everything else, is sort of that element of... Uh, That'd be gone five years. Yeah. Be gone three years, probably. Actually. But but I mean, it's it's generally created as a response to the cancel culture that... I was on Social Savannah have. for a while. The, it, exactly, it's dead. Oh, you know it was rough. You know it was rough. Like we're just really rough to watch. Um, you got one. I got one. It was. I was thinking about to say Bill Maher. No, I like Bill Maher. I enjoy him. I enjoy Good. his comedy. I enjoy. He's actually Good. pretty. Like he. he he's fucking Ed Coulter. He, he, <laughs> he is. He is in like, fact like, fucking Ed Coulter. The whole thing when he was with Sam Harris like, and he he enjoys Kitchen. I like yeah. Sam. I like. Yeah, him. He, like, uh, he is a classical liberal. Yeah, I like Bill Maher. I like the movie Religious. I enjoy it. He's he's a um, contrarian for sure. Um, I mean, he knows what's up. I don't like, like people you, that just like, ugh, like, ugh, like you might like um, it more than I do, honestly. Bill it's like Michael Moore was <laughs> know, the first that popped in my head, but like, Michael like, Moore. He's rough, but okay, like, Michael Moore is but, the but, framework. Hold on, but he's like nobody. He's like, okay, can, can, can I say okay. can I say some shit? He's Michael, like, hold on, really listen, listen, hear me out. Michael Moore is a framework for like many, many, many people on the right at this point. Yeah, absolutely. So the, sort of uh, like gonzo journalist, opinion. like yeah. sort of like like I'm a filmmaker talking about the fuck 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 mass media, fuck the mainstream media. That was Michael, Michael Moore was the one who started that shit. I'm the, the, saying, the right I'm the right saying, co-opted it. I'm just saying what, what the stuff he says, sure. like, but he's not the one that probably think. Um, I'm saying Fahrenheit 9/11 is actually like a it's great pretty good. Yeah, Blood for Helen Mine's pretty decent too. Don yeah. Lemon's pretty rough. To, to CNN, like, he's the mainstream media bullshit, though. He's not. He's not he, a parallel, though. Huh? But you said who's somebody that I just find repulsive, right? Is that what your question? Sure, sure. That, you, like, that you'd actually want to punch in the face. But, but, okay. And uh, congrats, my, you my, just my into spe- a hate crime. Sure. Whatever. My specific question is who is the? No such thing. Who is the? All who, crime is by hate. Who is the? Who, who is the left? The left version of your Milos, your Stephen Crowders, your you know your provocateurs. Your, yeah, your your Gavins. Like, who is the left version? of <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Uh, Gavin McGinnis? No, give me a sec. Uh, I have several names I can the say. The dude on the, on the Turks. Oh. Shank? Uh, Shank? Shank Unger? Shank's rough. Who, who is he parallel then? I don't know. Is I'm, he Stephen Crowder? I'm actually no. like fairly pro-Chank. I'm pro-Chank uh, too. Most, right. Predominantly. Shank was shitting on Joe Biden all night. Yeah. He is so wildly anti-mainstream. He really is. That he's just like, burn, he's, burn he's, the establishment he's, he's, down. No, he's too... He's too Bernie bro for me. Anyway. You say that he probably he probably lines more ideological with you than you think. I mean that. He's very very anti-establishment on well, both sides. And being, I was told that my my first book was mentioned on the Young Turks by the female Anna Kasparian. Anna Kasparian. Yes. Okay. It was. She's. They, she's. They, uh, they, were, they had. They were answering questions from people and their. It was someone sent me the link long ago when I first my book came out. It was about a year and a half. I, I think Chink is, a, is somehow I don't know if she got a hold. I don't know. I never got to see the. I saw the clip and then I like, lost it. I, I was on an old phone and I tried to find it through YouTube and I've not yet been able to find it. So, I don't remember the name of the episode. So between was, you and I, they were asked, "What are some things that you are there anything about libertarianism that you guys that you would like?" And she they kind of like bashed it for a little bit and then like she's like, "I just read a book that was suggested to me from a friend." Of, and then they said, Young Libertarian by Tanner Hall. And they're like, 
I like I don't think he's very famous. <laughs> and then and he goes, she's like, but he has. It sounds like an Anna Kasparian remark. He, she goes, not very famous, but they read it and they sent it to me. And she goes, and he he was. They called me a left leaning libertarian. Now, when I wrote that book, maybe because I had very left view. Uh, these have changed, and I might such. I, I had very left views in regards to race. I came to pro-choice. Um, Maybe a couple. When it came to religion, I openly say I was atheist. So she said, she goes, I enjoyed his. Uh, you think you think you're not open, op openly atheist anymore? No, I am. I, no, that part I still am. Okay. That part I still am. But but so but, so, but in the so, first book, so she, was this plug from Anna Kasparian? What pushed you to the right? And you're like, oh fuck, the young. Someone said, <laughs> and I was flattered, and I'm like, but I, I said, I'm I, I, left leaning. I it blew me away when she said, I'm left leaning libertarian. I think that's a that's a hmm. that's a valid. And she goes, she goes, so yeah, find that book is good, and, and it, then it was Dover, and then it, it, I think, it I was think really like a, a there ten is, second. There is a, there is a left. It's really cool, but I don't know how. I don't know who. B between you and I, Tanner, I think the pipeline to give. I, I would to a say book. that I still agree with that statement, even though maybe you're pro you're pro life. That's that that sort of like the maybe the the borderline for me, but I think libertarianism and left are not. Um, how about this? Let me, let me rephrase opposed. my pro life statement. Because I say this in the book as well. I choose to live my own individual life now as pro-life. But you don't want I to... would not use government to force you to be pro-life. Sure. I I agree. That lets me walk. That lets me dance the line of libertarian. If, if, so, if, so, 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 I would not use government force to make if, you think like me. Do you, Do you think I would say? I would want to use I, debate and evidence. So so, so Tanner. <laughs> Tanner, listen to me. Shout. Would Would do you think that I would say that? You have to have an abortion. Do you have to? Do you no. think? Do you think like, I would ever say that? that? You, you're pregnant. You can't have this kid. You need to. Do, have an Do you abortion. think I would ever say that? I think there's people in this country that would. But no, 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 but not you. no, no, no. Not We're talking about you and I right not now. Not you, Jake Rudder. No, I can't. I can't fathom you saying that. So I'm saying. All I'm saying is that whether or not we agree or disagree on that specific item, if you say that I can't, if you, if you say that you're if that. It's not your place to tell me whether or not I can have one. I say that say the same shit to you. It's not my place to tell you whether or not you should have a kid. Period. And so, story. does that make him more of a liberal, or you as more of a libertarian? No. <laughs> <laughs> not yes. You know, uh -huh. like people say yes. I say no. Okay. So Rad radical position. Cancel culture is just the free market working itself out. Mm. Yeah. No. Why not? Well, that was left right cap for the week. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, it, it, it was a question that I've really been wanting to kind of like get to after the diatribes of court cases. Sure. Okay. If you stuff. want, you okay. Then on a literal on paper, yes, because there there's nothing technically saying that the market can't go radically left or radically right. right. There's nothing saying it can't, or and that the consumers buying into ideas can't be of one side or mm -hmm. the other. Yes. Theoretically, yes. So so if a collective I mean, even if we look at this not it's so much that, as it's just that we don't look at it so much as ideas. It's just that the I'm collective sorry. determining the market currently right now is a collective that I philosophically disagree with. Sure, but they are the market. Um, but their market isn't driven by the good of the product. The product could be fantastic if the owner right. of the product happened to vote Trump. You can have a great idea, no, but the product, still not the, the product could cure fucking cancer. And it, they said, I voted, I voted for Trump. And they're like, fuck that company. Don't buy their cancer cure. So we should only pursue things that but benefit the most? What? I mean, but no, no, that's, that's kind of my point. Um, so that's not about the market, it's not about the product, it's not about the economic... But it's not, it's, it's, it is It is the a, inherent value, I'm sorry, it's not the inherent value of the object, it is the buyer's opinion on the object that drives the market. Agreed. On that. So then so. it is not whether or not, who gives a shit if this, ob, this bo empty bottle of wine can cure cancer if you just shove it in your face. Um, but if everyone under looks up and sees that Cedar Brook is full of uh, racists or something, you would then go and be like, no, I don't want to buy that. Like, I'll, I'll deal with cancer. The collective consumer makes the assessment that I would rather deal with cancer than support this product. It is not up to an individual or a limited group of individuals or an elected group of individuals to mandate to tell them to do X, Y, or Z. I also, okay, so my example is that 
the market is being driven by the minority on certain things. Is it though? Yes, on certain things. Such as? The dick's removal of guns. I, I think that it was just pressure from the 5% that said, you know what, this 5% could snowball into 10, could snowball into 15, and they cut their, they, they cut their ties with it and was out and, and wiped their hands. So I also think... I, I, I disagree I think, solely based off of supply chain and actual like business elements to I, it. You don't give a shit what your people who are not buying products from you do or say. You care about what your bottom line is, and you make decisions. You also care about bad publicity. You care about certainly, and that does impact your bottom line. Absolutely, bottom line. I also think there's. This is my weird tinfoil hat conspiracy. Let's hear it. I think my tinfoil hat is that I'm. I think I've only ever been drinking beer. I think the guy stepped down from voicing Cleveland. Mm. Because he, if, I don't think it was up him internally, morally saying, I'm a white guy, I shouldn't be doing this. I think it's, if I don't get out now, my career could literally be over because the, the, left, the left will eat me alive. Or mm. they will, not, the, the, maybe not the, it, it is the left, it's not the right, right? It's not saying shit about this. But like, but they are saying shit about other, other, other things. Topics. Other yeah. the, but the, like, the in right, terms of, of, of Mike, Mike, what's his name, voice in Cleveland, they don't Sure, care, don't but the right, the right way, other things will lie, right? Sure, so yes, like, yes, no. yes, yes, sure. yes. Um, but on this particular issue, and so I, I agree that it's probably. Pro- I think he I, might say, you know what? I'm going to preserve my career. I, I'm, so I'm, a, I'm, so I'm going to step Tanner, out. You know, you know, my you know self me. interest will drive me to pursue something yeah, else. I think. He, I'm, I'm yeah, pretty, I think he did a big brain play. Sure. And sure. pawned off saying, like, you know what? This is right. A black person should voice believe. And he and he said the thing that appeased the masses. But I'm also progressive, and I would say I agree with you, and almost entirely on this. It's like he's a voice actor playing character, and that's how it is. And. Did, did it come from a place of racial equality? No, he didn't. But it's, he's already voicing that character. If he stops voicing the character... And he also voiced it based off a guy he used to play like tennis with. Like, sure, sure, who was sure, a black sure, guy. Sure, sure. He was like, the, the, I'm, I'm That's actually not get, important. Get the tennis player to go do it. But whatever. What All those things you just said, not important. He is a person voicing a character. I don't think race it, race is really that important for me, for, for the character. In the same way, we just had fucking Hamilton, where it's a bunch of white people being played by black, black and Hispanic people. Like... Those Patrick Stewart played a reverse Othello. Exactly. He's the only white person in all black cast. Those thing, those things for me Your are fucking solid. <laughs> I mean, but, for, for, but for me, those things don't it's matter. Bad. It's like it doesn't. They don't matter. They don't. It doesn't. If you hmm. also they're miss fucking, the woman that plays Missy on Big Mouth. But they're also they're also distractions. Yeah, too. that was Jenny Slate. Um, they're they're also so, distractions, right? Like <clears throat> they're, they're, those are distractions from. Issues that actually matter for me. Yeah. In the same way that, like, Gen- Jenny Slate is also do, a do I, do I think, found and very visible individual. Uh, but then you know, like, you have, you have my Rudolph right. playing the fucking hormone demon, too. You have black people as well. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that Nick Kroll is a bigot. A racist? Yeah, big, yeah. N- Nick Kroll, hot take here on, on, on Left Right yeah, he, He's a bigot he's on a Big Mouth. One of my favorite shows is The League. Fucking love that show. I do. We were ahead of this kind of So, all right. Uh, questions? Unless there's is more that you want to. Uh, ultimately, my only position on it is that I do think that when when we circle down to it, it, it doesn't matter the quality of the product; it matters the intention of the consumer. That why? And so therefore, cancel no, culture. I don't is, agree with that. No, it's it's yeah. you. You could have a multi tool that can fix everything, but if it's made off child uh, labor in Af- like you, in Asia for well, now here's you, the thing. you as, you as a consumer culture. it doesn't really matter okay, no, you're but, talking but, about but cancel culture, culture. I know, and, and I'm talking about like cancel culture Kevin Hart made a tweet about transgender people but he should never matter? be able to work again he should never be able to host an Oscar does he should never be able matter? to book shows he is offering a good and or service the free market will determine and the market has determined that they do not want him and I'm so saying, find someone else. I think it's an outraged small percentage of the market that is being inflated to represent. I, I, I can tell you that most risk analysts and most business analysts through, throughout don't care about any that. companies don't give a shit about the minority. They care about, the, they care about, they care about numbers. They care about the majority. YouTube, care cares, about the YouTube cares about the majority. That's, that is why YouTube has not taken down as many things as they should have. And it is why... Only yeah. now, true, true, true. after fourteen this is why, this years, this is why left right cab is still on the air because only no, no, no. like because only, only the majority 14 matters. Fourteen years, 
before Zuckerberg decided to go and show up to a Senate hearing to discuss right. this. Sure. It took almost 20 years for him to begin implementing some degree of censorship because they have determined that a, influencing their product to better meet the needs of the market, how to do that is to continue to, to begin censoring, labeling things, what have you. Lightly. And, and I think the position of Very people saying, well, this, this is not the real market is just, it's, it's a logical fallacy. The market is the market. The market is the market. And I get that. And, and as someone in sense. this field, personally, will tell you, I don't give a shit about people's feelings, opinions, or thoughts. I care about the bottom line when it comes to sound decision making. Makes sense, actually. So, now that said, do I think, does it irk me that Aziz Ansari had to fucking step away from comedy for months? Yeah, Master of None's great. Yeah, he's a phenomenal artist. I love, I mean, his his book is wonderful. His stand-up's great. I would like to see more of him because it in, invites joy into my life. As what's, the, what's the chick that has to apologize with the, the fucking hand? That, that just happened in the news to, like a few a few days ago. What hand? Oh, uh, it's a uh, show. Fuck. Anyways, there's these, I think it's called Witches. I think the name of the show is, is Witches. I think it's like a Disney show. No, but... no, no. It's it's it's, it's old. old uh, okay. um, Hulu, maybe, or... Mm. HBO Max, one of those two. And there's good witches and bad witches, but the bad witches have like three fingers. They're like, it's Just like a, the disabled. Yeah, they look like that. Uh, okay. Yeah. And, and. More like Nightcrawler. Yeah. Is Nightcrawler like, going to yeah, have to start? the bad witches, but in that they have these. And, and so, whatever reason, why is it? Why, I don't know what it is. Yeah. And they had to, she had to come out and make a public apology. Whoever the main actress, she had to, she's a big actress, I can't think of her name. She had to come out and apologize, say, like, like to the point of she should not have got the role. It should have been a person that actually had this genetic. Yeah. Defect. And it's and it's like she's like no, we're just it, we're not trying to make a defect. We're trying to give the, these certain type of witches. The, the uh, identifier. It's, fe- it's, identifier. A fe- it's a phenotype. Yeah. It's a phenotype. Yeah. Yeah. So e- even that, I would actually I would have more concerns with her trying to justify that than I would her being in that role. Well, she said we don't mean to offend anyone. She goes, this is just what the, the designers of the show yeah. wanted. But anyway, they're, they're, like, they're, like, historically we've. We've constantly done the setup of those who are disabled are somehow bad. Like we've done that repeated. Not not we because I clearly none of us have ever done. But yeah, yeah. And isn't that a, isn't that a season of uh, American, American Horror Story? American Horror Story. Watch it; it's great. They it's, murder it's, everyone. That's right. Uh, freak, sh- freak Show was In great. South Park, they put balls on Bob's chin and they I, go in the morgue. I watch Freak Show. I've watched Freak. Sh- I've watched Freak Show. For, so I watched two seasons. I watched Coven and Freak Show. Coven was so bad. I love Coven. I can't I believe I got that Steve, wrong on trivia. Stevie Nicks is in it. God damn it. I yeah, it's Coven. fine. She and, can't and make everything Kathy, wonderful. Kathy Only Bates. most Kathy yeah. Bates is in a lot of things. She, she's in most. <laughs> Kathy Bates is in, is in like almost every, oh, every season, right? Uh, yeah, for the most part. She's also in the other series that Madeline made me watch. Asylum's uh, best doesn't matter. What's, what's, the, what's, what's the what's what's okay? What's the other se- series of uh, American Horror Story that's not American Horror Story where it's like. The nurses in the home. Oh yeah, nurse ratchet. So, ratchet, 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 ratchet. Yeah. All right. So here are our questions. For yeah. Okay. Because we're gonna wrap up. Okay, I have three. Uh, speed round. Here we go. Yeah. What is a discontinued product you would kill to have brought back? Three D Doritos. Ooh, mine's close. Oh shit! Close to that. that was good. Mine's close. I can't Immediately, that. like puffed corn. It was the perfect degree of nacho cheese, like flavoring onto it. And they have Cool Ranch ones too. They did. Yeah. Uh, I, mm. I'm always pro nacho cheese. I like Cool Ranch just fine, but like I'm the other way around. I'm pro Cool Ranch. And I'm fine with nacho cheese. Well, my 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 yeah. my my, they, my they really name, the perfect. Bugle. My screen name on Instagram and on Snapchat is Cool Ranch Chips, so I agree with you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, my answer. You love my answer then. Uh, my answer is. Discontinued products. Oof. Surge. That's back. Surge it's, is back. We have it. In I know it's guessing. back. Like like live wired Mountain Dew. No, I mean like Surge. surge like surge. tall play cans. No, I know, I know. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, all I'm, I'm, no, I know. I'm like I'm, here I'm, I'm, sp- I'm spinning off of that because it's kind of technically back. So. You know what did just come back? Uh, in? I saw Chris, the Chris, store? Crystal Pepsi. 
Boys. Really? It was back and it's left. Boys, I would like to tell you what's back in the grocery store that are up in Massachusetts. I can smuggle some down here. I haven't seen them down here. Go ahead. Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos? I could go for that. I, I don't like sweet things. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, clear, <laughs> yeah, clearly I, I, about my beer choice and wine choice. I, I don't like sweet things either, but I do fucking love Dunkaroos. So, so here is so, my So my, also, my, fuck Travis on that one. Here is my choice. You said the, the three juniors and you're like, I would, I would, I would do I would do Live Wire Mountain Dew is my answer. But it is, that's fucking round. Live Wire is gone. No, it's not. The orange, orange one? one? No, live wire is the blue one. No, live wire yeah. is the orange. Yeah. I'm going to say something really nerdy right now. I'm going to get it. Voltage is the blue one. Oh, you're right. It's voltage. So, voltage is what I'm thinking of. So, actually. if voltage. I would trust anyone for their Mountain Dew knowledge, it's no, no. probably so, so, literally so, so, in a Mountain Dew so, group. So, when you say that, so when you say that, so as soon as you say that, voltage is what I meant to say. Voltage is what I meant voltage, to say. Okay. Yeah. Voltage is still around. I, I don't no, know. I'm, I'm not in a Mountain Dew group. I don't, I don't have the time. the mass grocery stores. All right. Anyways. All right, here we go. Oh, my answer. Sorry. Yeah. But three, but mine is, back in the early 2000s, Doritos made a flavor. It was in a neon green bag with purple accent, and it was called Sonic Sour Cream. They were fucking fantastic. They were so good. Was it everything good about sour cream and onion chips without the onion? It was like... Because that sounds like a delicious chip. It was like sour cream and onion met Cool Ranch, and mm. it was just... Oh... They tasted so good, and if that could just oh, if that ever came back, I would I would just buy like thirty bags, and Ashley would leave me. But because I don't know if it, it, it would go away again, so I, it might be one of those limited releases. You, you would just consume until it stopped consuming. Right. It's like when we got the Chez one sauce with Rick and Morty. Like you, you would you would just consume until consuming would stop happening. It, she, yeah, she. We also we have, we have a chat question by the way. Oh, sorry, the year is coming to a close. What's everyone's? Ow, I haven't had enough time to listen to music, man. Ooh, is it album of the year? Yeah. The year is coming to close. What's everyone's probable album of the year at this point? I have an answer for sure. Oh, I know my answer then. I do know my answer. Go ahead. Um, Songs to Get Murdered by Eminem. Mm-hmm. Eminem. Eminem, yeah. Um, I need to actually look to figure out at what point this album came out. Which album? Um, so, one second. Should I answer while you wait? Yeah, by all means. So my answer. answer uh, so I. I like the thing out there. So. So I, I actually also have a question from. I'll, I'll throw this shit out because like obviously I, I listen to a lot of music. Um, this year so far, I think probably Gorillaz' Song Machine is the best Gorillaz album since Plastic Beach. It's an incredible album. Is it it's, Feel Good Incorporated one of their big ones? Too? Feel Good Inc. Feel is good on is from a while ago. Is on uh, a previous album. It's on, uh, is it on Demon Days? It's on Demon Days, right? It's a white album. It's all white and they're in a car. Feel good? No, no, that's, that's, uh, that's Gorillaz. The, 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 album, the, the album cover you're describing is, is Gorillaz. Yeah, Gorillaz is the two by two grid of their faces. Or is that Demon no, that's Days? Demon Days. Okay. That's Demon Days. After that's Plastic Beach. Yeah. Um, Feel Good Inc. is on. The album Clint Eastwood. It, it is on, so that's, that's Gorillaz. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think it's actually Demon Days. Really thinking about it, I'm I think pretty it's sure it's Demon Days. Days. It's on Demon Days, you're yeah. right. It's on Demon Days. Then uh, Plastic Beach is... Yeah, it's not on Plastic Beach. Plastic Beach is... I know that album from the back, so... Uh, I don't but think anyways, I've listened to any Anyways, point being... So, so they, they, they had three amazing albums. Boom, boom, boom. Like, killed the fucking shit out of those albums. Uh, well, it's mostly David Alburn, so he had. Um, they had a couple other albums that are really good, that I like a lot. Um, they've, they've not had like a fucking amazing album for a good five, six years. This album, um, uh, it just has the features that are amazing. And it's like, it's got this weird structure where it's like episodic. So are you it's, telling it's, my disappointment album here? So it's, it's, so, so it's called Song Machine. Let me finish up. It's called Song Machine. It's all episodic. It's really, really good. There's several singles on the album that are all the best songs that Grills ever made. Elton John's on one. <laughs> It's really fucking good. Go, Honestly, go listen to the Song Machine. It's really good. Regrettably, I don't have anything to contribute because I don't think I know of any like brand new album from 2020 mm-hmm. that I listened to. It was a hard question, but I did listen yeah. to the Eminem one. And uh, my disappointment album, though, definitely I was looking forward to it forever, uh, was Tool. Mm. It's not... Ex- it's not it's like, it's one that comes it's in like the... Dodecahedron fucking it's, it's, it's okay. Boxes. It's okay. It's not, I, um, <laughs> the, so the new, the new Deftones album, very good. Ohms, very good. Oh, I like the new Chevelle album. That was, I did like sure, that. Sure, that's good. 
I would say I would, I would agree that's good. Uh, my, my my second best album this this of of my list right now would be like RTJ, on the, on the Jewels. Their newest album is very good. That's this year. So excellent. Thank you for that online question. Uh, yeah, RTJ Four is on the list of. Uh, yeah, the only I just looked up like albums from twenty twenty. And going through this, uh, Future on the Stuff. What's the first one? Fetch the oh, Bolt okay. Cutters, Fiona Apple. Mm, um, that's not oh, she's one. still around. No, no, still pumping out music. She's, she's doing great. <laughs> shit, like, that's a good album. I wouldn't say that's number one. Um, What's number two? RTJ Four, Run the Jewels. That makes sense to me. RTJ Four is good. Uh, three is actually Future Nostalgia. Uh, Dua Lipa, uh, which I actually like weirdly no. like. I love like pop electronica. I do too. I and, uh, no, she's two. good for it. Going what's, what's, through it, I didn't four? really. <clears throat> what's four? Keep going. Uh, I went through a couple others, but I did just realize I that. You, I, I actually went no, I, I, I did find the album that I, I liked. Okay. And it is uh, probably The Weekends After Hours. Okay. He's doing the Super Bowl. I'll take it. Really? Weekends but what, Super Bowl. what was after Dua Lipa, though? <laughs> Uh, set my heart on fire. Perfume Genius. Oh shit, that's a good album. You guys don't know Perfume Genius. And then you the, s- the slow rush Tame Impala. Okay, perfume. which I I love. Perfume Tame Impala, Genius. So. You guys should know. Seriously. Okay. I will, I will. Honestly, like, uh, it then goes perfume to Perfume Genius. Is like I got his music. I his podcast. Yeah, there, there's there's, so, there's so much shit for it. That's it. And and going through okay. this list. Um, right. after hours right. the You're weekend right. I will probably put it as, right. as mine. All right. So here's You're my right. here's the third question because I will use that as one of the questions. Uh, where have you experienced the best hookups? Tinder dating apps, the bar scene, or like friends from the past? Friends from the past, for sure. So under normal circumstances, I uh, am arguably quite the man whore in this sort of uh, group. <laughs> I, of I, I would say friends, friends I, okay, from the okay, past. Okay, how about this? I, 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 I rule out for me... I've never had anything good with the bar scene. No, not Same. really. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Bar scene's at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, right the, so, I think yeah, the, the I was, only... I would go French in the past, Tinder, and uh, et al., right? Yeah. 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 And then third being bar scene. I, bar, bar scene's top I, third. I don't know about the top two. Like, in one of the two of those, yes. And then the other being the other. Bar scenes, I, I think I've only ever had one good bar hookup scene. Sure, yeah. And I was like... I mean, 23. Is bar scene like, fun? Yes, it's fun. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, but, but, I don't, but, but, I don't, I don't but, go to the bar looking to go and bring someone home with but, me. But if you do, is it good? Like, it's like... <laughs> uh, she left midway through the night. Midway through I, having sex. You're like, no, she's just like, I'm no, done. No, no. <laughs> I, just I, 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 I have left <laughs> midway through stuff, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Uh, she actually was singing at a dive bar near where I lived in Manchester, and I which 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 bar? It was a hungry tiger. Oof. Oof. Um, she oof. turned you into a hungry tiger. Yikes! I, I guess I was the hungry tiger. <laughs> Shout out to hungry tiger in Manchester, Connecticut. Yeah, honestly, I that bar is actually all right. I like she bar. she had arguably the raspiest voice, which I was one hundred and ten percent about. Stevie Nicks. Oh, it was worse. It was like bourbon poured through a glass of like gravel. Like Joplin-y? Perhaps? No, no. Think like uh, uh, who the fuck. I'm spacing. He's a almost like a spoken word poet. Like, oh. give me one second. I'm gonna feel bad that I don't know this offhand, but Tom Waits. Just Tom, a female Tom Waits. Yeah, more or less. Wow. And I was like, hmm, talk to me about Salisbury steak. <laughs> and, uh, it like, she left sometime between when we fell asleep and when I woke up. And she left me her number on like a, a napkin in my room, and I was like, I never had this napkin in my room. I don't, she just carry it with her. See, it's weird. But yeah, bar, bar scene that that happened seven years ago. I've never had a good like bar hookup after that. See, I've had a exponentially. That's like, it. I, I will probably say most uh, dating apps. Like generally, I don't understand when people are like, oh, I have the worst luck on dating apps. Like. Yeah, it's, I, if I you're if it. you're bored, you're boring. Don't don't. Also, so what what was your hint the tip the other day? Say you're a liberal. Say you're <laughs> say you're. What was you told me the other day? Was it you? Um, if you put in your profile that you're a liberal or something else, 
they will fuck you. Like, I mean, it's if you put it, it, they will it, come. It, it's, help, it's helpful. It's helpful. I know. Generally so. Being, being left I, I, can't, I can't give the secrets <laughs> away. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's like a private, it's like, yeah, we can't talk about it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's Fight Club. It's Fight Club for, yeah. for, for dating. Um, I've, I've, actually, gonna, I've actually gonna gone through. I'm going to download these dating apps just to find tra- Travis's dating apps to try. I, I have gone through, secret. no, to the point that, like, I have rewritten friends' dating app profiles. And they, <laughs> have, they have all come forward afterwards and been like, I've gotten so many like responses afterwards if you want, and i was just like, like you know you know zoom, zoom, zoom that's what happens when i write i don't have i don't have that's the, not all you that's me too i don't have the tinders i i don't I either anymore the yeah, me neither it's 2020 whatever works i would never be on a dating uh, so no. here's the funny thing for me is my last three girlfriends i met them through each one of these scenes first First was a bar scene, then a friend from a past that we used to like, we had mutual friends, we'd hung out multiple times before, sure. but nothing ever. And then we got there, and then Ashley was through a dating app. And I will say that the, the the first girl, which was bar scene, was like the best sex I ever had. And then the friend from the past took that mantle, and she was the best sex I ever had, and now we got dating app. So it's like, best sex ever had so it's like I mean it's, that's, it's that's, what hap- that's what happens when you only have sex with three people yeah <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, there, are, there may have been people sprinkled in between dog. <laughs> in between these three people there might have been sprinkled other people I'm just saying sure yeah. hypotheticals exist but wow uh, <laughs> no, I, that's I, so I, funny I just, and, but honestly I I sort of share that empathy or that that position because like the bar scene i've even the one like good instance i have pales in comparison to like prior friends and people i've met through can i also state i don't think a lot of high percentage of females going to the bar scene are Are going there to hook up 100 percent. yes they're not there people People are their friends they're here to Agreed. Not have sex, whereas yeah. men go in how, walking, how, wanting house, house parties are much much better than that. Yes, agreed. Mm-hmm. agreed. Yeah, mm-hmm. because there's a bedroom, we walk right upstairs and do this right now if we want. And uh, but yeah, then it's like oh, bedrooms. You're there's going public home with that outside. guy, and all the girlfriends are like, "Who's that guy?" Who's and there, there's social social stigma. There's a whole lot more into it, and I think that house parties. Actually, yeah, I would probably put that as the fourth qualifier. I would put house parties as the number one. Number one. But wouldn't house parties be uh, house parties? Not always friends that you right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like, so or like I've, friend, I've spent friend or most friend. Of, friend or I've friend. spent most of my life throwing house parties, being friend of a friend, and yeah. it is, and also being friend of a friend. But occupying this position where I will just invite loads of people. Pre COVID. Pre COVID. Pre COVID. Um, but. Mostly so that I could see how they would interact with one another. Second question then. Yay or nay to, to the success rate of your friend saying you should, oh, you should meet X, you get along great. Oh, the very friend, good. The, the very good. Looking up with the friend. Uh, very, I, I, I know, I'm, I know okay, you so well, well I know on. her so well. Hold on. I know on. it will work. Hold uh, on. Wait, I, can I, I say, can I, I, think? I just want to qualify and say I have never been in that position. Because I am the person setting up. People. Sure. So I would say. Oh, you did. So I would say. Yeah. So I would say hooking. Um, so probably because right. I've slept with both of them. Hey. Uh, no, hey. Uh, anyways, so I would say hooking up. If you if you take hooking up out like out, out of the, like the fucking list, if you have a friend who says the other, other friend would 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 match with you, that works very well at least in the conversation, right? Like like those two. Yeah, know, it opens the door. It doesn't like. Whether not whether not you see the deal, whatever. But but like you guys can talk. You guys can definitely fucking no. fuck. You guys can fuck on a level, whether or not you fuck, but you fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of hand motions there. You, you, fucking, uh, okay, hold on. Jazz hands. Fuck with you. Just, 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 we're fucking. We're, we're, we, I fuck with you, but I don't fuck with you. But those are two different fucks. But one, at least one of those will happen if, if a friend, if a mutual friend who you like, actually says that to you. You know, so tra- your Travis is, or your other people's in my life who have done that to me for, for me, have always. Put me with somebody. It's yielded more positive results than negative. I mean, almost no negative, no negative. Oh, yeah, I've as sort of the arbiter of doing that. I mean, I, I, I met my wife through Travis, so like, I can say most of the people I've thrown at each other have at least uh, navigated rough waters well. 
I, they're not all of them are still together or you know, years later or so forth. But you know, they, they had a good run for a bit. All right, well, if things don't pan out, you gotta I, I will find, be you gotta, a bitch. in reserve. You gotta find a, a, if things a don't pan out, skin redhead that is more or less as libertarian as you can get her. The three, mm. so so pale skin red hair. We'll, we'll bring you back to the tenor, liberal tenor, side tenor, of things. Tenor. But that honestly is, tenor, tenor. is pale skin red head. Pitch on that, like ten, mm -hmm. pale skin red head who's a libertarian. For me, that's tenor right now. Okay. 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 I have red beard. You're reddish. You get, red, red, get some reddish. Uh, honestly, the question I had that was asked by my dad is, what would you name your boat? Uh, <laughs> USS Liberty. Hey, what's yours? No, I, it's a, I don't know. I, I've, I've never thought about that. Boating I mean, no, is like. If you, if you had a boat, what would you name it? I'm going to Google clever. Boat. God is dead. <laughs> God, God is dead. <laughs> hmm. Is your house just haunted? What yes. That? yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, that's why we did the spooky episode here. Watch it's, it. It's funny. It's a haunted house. This, this house is haunted. Um, there's some funny ones on here. She got the house is a good, good book. Solid, here. solid. What's yours, Travis? Uh, probably <laughs> the Titanic too. This one says unsinkable too. Yeah, this Titanic. one's funny. That's yeah. funny. I think God is dead's a good one. Hmm? Unsinkable. God, you're gonna go. God is dead. So God is dead. It's a good one. I put that bold letters on the side of the boat. No. If if I didn't have the Titanic too. I would probably do Titanic 2 Electric Boogaloo. That's a good one. This one says see. zombies can't swim. Nice. Uh, for the dad jokes, Hussein Boat. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Uh, uh, there's one that literally is upside down, and it says, uh-oh, at the word, uh, so, <laughs> so mm -hmm. that's clever. Yeah, so when, These are great. When I never this. thought about this question yeah. until you brought this up to me. Yeah, boat, boat names are always the sort of, what, like, <laughs> dirty <laughs> pun do you want? <laughs> Drug money. <laughs> it's just called drug money. Yeah, shit, shit like that. And uh, I had a friend who the lived wet on, dream, the wet dream, boys. Who, we found it. She lived on a boat and uh, in a harbor. Like I, I don't know how she did this year round. <laughs> was this Ellie Shida? <laughs> no, no, no. This was a, I guess a friend in Norwich. She was living in. The, the marina there in black oh in Norwich not yeah. Black Island yeah no, no, no. Okay. and um boat boat culture is so weird because like she wasn't the only one living on those boats no 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 and yeah. there were like yachts and stuff of people just like there Poor and they were all like, just le like less, less than less than wealthy people for sure yeah not so, not, not, so, poor, poor, not poor poor but no, like, but like my friend was modestly on a boat, but, modestly wealthy people sometimes do that shit um but. I just was blown away by the fact that there were people in like multi-bedroom yachts in a mm. marina in a American Wharf, so Norwich. It's crazy. And they were just like out there drinking Sambuca because <laughs> we then drank with them. And I'm just like, is this all you guys do? They're like, well, later this week, we're actually going to take the boat out. And I was like, God damn, that is such a... This is inefficient. I don't understand. Like, how much fuel are you wasting to do this? And they're just like, oh, it's okay. It's more of a culture. And I was like, this, it's a nice is, style. this is bullshit, but it's also really fun. So, like, I don't blame them. I, I, yeah, I, I would probably go to Titanic 2 Electric Boogaloo. All right. I, I, we can end the show on what I would name my, my what I would name it. The most important name. Mm -hmm. Friendship. Oh. You guys Tanner, are welcome. Tanner? On the friendship. Tanner, despite... Anytime you Tanner, want. despite all the shit that we've gone through together, I would call which, you... Which is not a lot. I would call you my friend. Oh, that's good. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, I think you're wow. obje objectively a good dude. Obje <laughs> objectively a good so dude. There, there just... was, no, there was a point in time where I was just quantifying all of these bad things as objectively not terrible <laughs> and like objectively good. And it's like, no, this is like getting nails put through your fingertips. Objectively speaking, they're not through your eyes. So, like, it could, it, they're right. pretty good. So now it's, that compliment's just been, he just washed that compliment away. I, I, was, I was actually based then on Travis's definition of it, too. But I, I don't, I don't actually, yeah, yeah, no, I like no. it, Tanner. Oh, you, you're not terrible. You're not terrible. <laughs> you're, you're all right. You're, you're definitely, no, no, you're, you're all right, terrible. and you're also all right. 
Wow, your fault. Wow, so uh, that's left, right, cab. Thank you all for uh, bearing through this. Uh, I'm Travis Pajoli. I'm Tanner Hall. And I'm Jake Ryder. Thanks and I, for watching, guys. And I care about Tanner Hall. Tanner Hall. <laughs> Good night. We'll see you cool. maybe next week. Thanksgiving, we don't know. Uh, we'll take a week off. We'll come up with probably. something. I have nothing else to do. So Let's do Maybe it'll just be me talking. And, it could uh, be another Wednesday. We'll see. I'm done with that. Uh, yeah, that actually would be pretty dope. Sure. Yeah. Bye, guys. Cool. Maybe Wednesday. Bye-bye.